All right. If you can hear me, type 98. All right, it's time. Oh, hello, Nick. Nice to see you here. All the Nick's in charge, like, holy shit, that's me. All right, uh, I have to send a quick message. You're gonna hear the elegant sound of my keyboard mashing, and then I'm ready to begin the stream. All right, so today we have a little bit of a flip schedule. It's Mario time. It's Mario time. It's a tournament. Uh, it is the Simply Speedrunning Tournament. So what's going to happen is in a little bit we're going to meet with Simply on Discord. And we're going to uh, race in a 16-star speedrun race against uh, Virtual. And it's just like, whoever completes the game faster wins, Pog. Uh, and then we do it two out of three. My PB is a lot faster than Virtual's, so as long as I don't blunder, we should be fine. Uh, we're going to just do like a couple quick warm-ups, and then we'll get started, and then we'll play some TFT. Sorry, I just had to quick send a quick message. What is this colon three emote? All right, let's do this. All right, let's quickly practice all the hard tricks. I got I got eight minutes to quickly practice. Let's do this. I should probably have music on just to get used to it.
All right, let's do this. Let's see if it's a Pog, he still got it, or a Sag, he don't got it. My God, he still got it. Lost a second there. It is all good. Okay, this is the hard one. Let's see if I got it. Can we sh movement? Oh. Oh no. Are we in practice or this is the actual race? Uh, no, the actual race is in like two minutes or it's in six minutes. So I'm just warming up. Oh, sheesh! Let's go, dude. How about, how's our bomb clip? Uh-oh. If I fail the bomb clip, I'm just fucked, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. You lose so much time if you. Let me do it one more time. Oh, Shubaru. You lose so much time if you uh, fail the bomb clip. Uh oh. Oh my god, what a save. Holy shit. Alright, what's next? I. Uh... I don't know the acronyms. What's the sand or the snow world? Oh, cool, cool mountain. Oh! Pog. All right. Ooh, this is the run killer. Hello, Eden Sane. Check us out. Oh no! The run killer! Surely that won't happen in the tournament. That's why we're warming up. Bonk! Oh no! The run killer! Oh, there be in clinic. Wait, uh oh. If I can't do this, I'm fucked. Oh!
What? Oh my god. Let's do the backup. Oh god! Oh no! Guys, I can't do it. I just died three times in a row. Okay, just get a nice clean one here and confidence is restored. Oh, clean. What the? Whoa, clean. Ah! Ah! God, I'm so clean today. Holy shit. God, he's truly just a menace. Hello, Myosotis. All right. Okay, I probably shouldn't even try a zero cycle. I guess I guess you always try it. I shouldn't expect to hit it. But how sick would it be if I actually got it? Oh wow. Oh. Let's do this really quick. Let's see if I still got it. There's always like extremely hit or miss for me. Oh, no. Oh, wait, is it time already? These guys are both gamers. Oh, I'm shit. Hello. Box, box. Yo, are Hello. you already? Hello. Hello. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Um, before I transition, are you guys, are either of you cool with muting mic during the races themselves? Or would you prefer to use mic? Muting uh, mic how? Like, like you... Like I'm pulling, uh, I usually pull game audio from you guys, but if I'm pulling it and you're talking, then it's kind of hard to, to do the commentary over it. Oh. Um, but if you guys want to talk, that's fine. I just want to know if either I can, of you are I can cool just change doing. my, uh, can I? No, I cannot, I don't think. Yeah, because it's just going to be your, it'll be like on stream side that I'm pulling audio or whatever. I <laughs> would prefer talking. I don't know about you, Box Box. Yeah, I'm assuming uh, you guys want to talk, which is fine. Done for either one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we could do that then. I'll I'll pull up uh, the OST and I'll just have that bumping in the background. It should be fine. Um, okay, you guys ready? I'm going to transition, do the little intro interview, and then we'll we'll get it going. All right, okay. sure. How's your PB, Witchel? <laughs> what? How's your uh, PB now? You were at 25 That's minutes when I last checked. Oh, yeah, no, I've gotten better. I'm at 20 minutes now. 2051. Wait, let's go. Nice. But I have pace up. for 19. Until uh, the two last things, LVLJs and whatnot. Gildas. Uh, it's rough out there. It is rough. All right, all right. I'm, I'm switching. I'm about to, about to do the intro. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing it. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. <clears throat> Sorry. We are doing this again. We are doing the All Star 16. This is the last match on the uh winner's side although it's it's kind of just like you know the first first round so but yes the fourth and final match of the first four matches kind of redundant we have box box uh, a legend who popped off hard in the sophomore 16 one of the fastest improving players i i think i've ever seen going up against virtual who has also been grinding very hard didn't even have a pb 
when I started this tournament, with me in the booth is Chris. I actually want to talk to uh, Virtual first. I know you've been grinding. You know, we, we had a call once. How how are things feeling now? You've, you've you been know, playing for about a I week. Feel, I feel pretty good, simply. I started with, uh, my first one was like a 32 minute, then a 27, then a 25, then a 22, 21. Yep. I sit at a 20 minute, 51 right now. But I think I'm going to drop a, a, a sub 20 throughout the tournament. It might not be this match, but I, I'm getting there. Mm. Might be a PB, PB potential. PB potential on the tournament, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Box Box, what about you? I know you've been doing a little bit of de-rusting. You're already, you know, pretty pretty bussin'. What, what are you thinking going into this match? I have absolutely zero confidence. I can't land anything right now. <laughs> My Nothing's working. Me. <laughs> Everything is going wrong. The house is on fire. Okay. Well, that. You know what I tell myself, Box Box? I tell myself, I am untiltable. I am the rock in the sea of chaos. Ooh, you are if you untiltable. Do that, if, you, if you do that, if you do that, you can survive anything. You just if you, if you believe it, if you can speak it and you can believe it, then you are it. I did just see you hit a nice BLJ though, Box Box. So I do believe oh! in your abilities. Do you see that? <laughs> He wasted it on the practice. That's he did. He wasted it on practice. We'll have to see yeah. if that, that happens in the run itself. Gentlemen, go to your uh, main menu. Make sure you're on the actual game ROM, not the uh, practice ROM, and and we'll get it going. Game one, upcoming. It's gonna get crazy. Chris, what are you what are you feeling? You know, you're a returning, you're a veteran co, co commentator, one of one of the OGs. Um, going into this, what are you thinking? Yeah, man, it's good to be back. Um, I don't know. It's it's gonna be a tough one. I've only just seen virtual playing for the first time today, and uh, I mean, obviously, much fresher than Box Box, but Box Box doesn't seem to have too much confidence, so it could go either way. Definitely true. Definitely true. Gentlemen, are you both ready for the countdown? I'm ready. Hmm. All right. I'm also about to be ready. One moment. <clears throat> Let's do this. Okay. Good luck, guys. Three, two, one, go. Wait, are we do are, are we resetting and then timing from the main menu or I would just say I would say oh. uh Okay we can do I it hopped again. In. We can do it again. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it again. <laughs> Wait I say do uh when do I you say start from the file select or what? No no no. Start on reset. So when I say one, press F one yeah, to reset. reset. Yeah. And then yeah. on go, start the timer. Okay. Okay? Yep. All right. Um, <clears throat> here we go. We're going to try this again. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. Good luck. Yes. Good luck, Rachel. Good luck. All right. It begins. They're going into the cave the caverns virtual versus box box game one very curious to see how this one goes very very curious i just lost a second on the menu i forgot to press start okay box box giving us some commentary some insight into his match if i if i lose by one second that was why i i always practice on the practice rom and i i never go to the main menu i i'm not used to it my main <laughs> menu splits aren't good the menu in needs some work. Okay, can you guys still hear me? <clears throat> okay, nice, I muted my mic. All right, let's do this. All right. It all starts with... So, Chris, it comes back to you. We are here. We are. Things we are, are happening. Here. Commentator trying to find something to say to try and fill the space, but just not able to make it happen. Uh, a pretty exciting... Fight intro virtual already exiting the pipe early so i would say virtual's ahead yes the menuing definitely taking a hit there from box box also taking <laughs> time <laughs> Stand, he's reading the whole menu oh but it doesn't matter he got the lakitu skip virtual missing the lakitu skip now again virtual is literally he he started playing this game after the tournament had already been announced. He's, I, I hit him up, I was like, yo, you wanna do this tournament? He's like, I'm down, I'll grind for it. I was like, all right, sick. And uh, he has, he has been grinding. He started a week ago 
and he has been going in quickly moving his time down he's i know he's already capable of a sub 20 box box with a great start here lack yeah, of skip and bomb clip virtual's got it okay hitting the bomb clip wow yeah i saw virtual playing for the first time today and he i mean his beginning looked pretty clean he was pretty confident in ccm and, so and bob but just absolutely melted down at the end of the run both times i saw it so well we'll see if if he can make it through if he's really uh, untiltable like he says yeah, he's he's sounding pretty uh pretty confident there, but like you said, we will have to see. I'm getting some uh, some commentary <clears throat> or insight, I should say, from the chat. We don't have game audio, guys. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Uh, we do not have game audio. That is true. Both both runners are they're using their microphone, so we are doing uh we're using an OST box box going for Owlus, missing it, and he's. You miss it once and you've already lost the time save that you could have gotten from Alice. It looks like he might be abandoning it. Virtual with a crazy setup. What is he doing? Virtual going for the scuff texture setup for some reason. <laughs> and he gets it! Wow. That was scuffed. Oh god. <clears throat> Foxbox choosing to just kill the Womp instead of going for Alice again, so we'll see if he tries again. You can't really try again after killing the Womp. I guess on emulator it doesn't really affect anything, does it? Yeah, on emulator it's fine. On N64 you definitely can't. But we are both both emulators. Uh, I have a feeling that that box box is just gonna go with the owl. I, I feel like when he's going for PB attempts, you know he'll go for owlless, of course, and, and try and keep going for it. Unless maybe, maybe. going for it here. What is he doing? Or, Where is I he think going? he just takes the island. He oh, is he's going for it again. Going for it again. That wait, is wall pick. I wow, I did not think that was going in. Okay. It went in. Made it happen. We're in. I mean, Not all Box Box really has to do is just kind of take it easy, do easy strats. He's minutes faster than Virtual. But Virtual with some very fancy, like, <sighs> the movement he just did, it, it, it is it's way harder than it looks to go up on that slope and jump up here. He actually got up there faster than, uh, I, I don't know how Box Box does it. My but hands are too shaky. The case that Box Box did it, it was actually faster than what he did. Box Box taking his time with his... Candle set up. It doesn't work. And going wow. for wild blue. Oh, this is scary. Weird to back it up with wild blue. He was already there and he's doing texture setup, but both players surprisingly doing texture setup. I did. The little backflip setup is so much easier when you're new to the game. Hmm. They just want to go fast. Um, we have a lot of virtual nighters. Oh my god. I, I really doubt I'm saying that right. Nighter? Um, yeah, I guess that's the, uh, the Papa Plot was doing something in German with his viewers, and that's the the Norwegian oh. version I heard. Yeah, I'm yeah, I, I'm meltdown. thinking that's what it is as well. Box box, oh the nightmare! This is a nightmare. Missing the cannonless, and he has no backup. He has yeah. to go and for it again. Virtual already done with one. Oh no, one more. Oh, fall, another right? fall. Virtual is in the lead. He is officially in the lead. Virtual just has to one. take the owl up to finish, so it's actually if if oh, Foxbox gets it here, they'll finish right I'm about the same shaky. time. I'm too shaky. I keep trying. Foxbox is just I can't giving up on Candlemas for now and going for the tower star, not even making it onto the elevator. Oh man, oh man, a lot oh, of God. four weirds in the chat, but Virtual doing what he can. A very nice start, actually looking immaculate, so clean here in game one. I gotta just do this one. Box Box still needs another star. He still needs Cannonless. Actually, a gold Womp's Fortress for Virtual there. Very nice. Yeah, that definitely had to have been a gold because that was that was clean as a whistle. His sum of best is an 1836, which means he definitely can 19. No doubt about it. And yeah, who knows? Absolutely. Like he was saying, maybe he gets a PB right in this race. Box box crawling for the backflip back setup finally gets out of one. Oh, God. There he is, 40 seconds behind I, on the I didn't sport. see what happened to Virtual. He was just doing the star, now he's doing it again. Did he die? I missed it. Uh, Virtual? Virtual? Virtual was just. Hey, oh, God, he's struggling to get the star. Um, Chris, what are you on about, little Zeppelin? I thought, he, I thought I saw him just do that star, but... Uh, oh, I'm that was so him. bad. I think you're just getting lost in the wrong part of the woods, my brother. Bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Bring what it back in. What is wrong with me? 
I can't stop trying. Uh oh. We're trolling. Oh god. Right oh, he does make it. That was. Wow. That was close. <sighs> oh god. There it is. There it is. Virtual done with CCM. A little sloppy. Not his best work, but still cooking. But here comes Dark World. Now, I have intel that, that the Bowser stages are Virtual's greatest uh, nemesis. Oh. It, it, it's his biggest, biggest issue that he has had with runs. So I'm very curious to see how this ends up going for him. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I know he, he opts not to go for the red coins here on, on Dark World, so... Their, their times could split off here if Box Box does go for them. Yes, you save 10 seconds alone if you are able to do the red coins in a decent amount of time. He's looking good, though. He got the triple jump wall kick. This this no reds is looking good. It, it is crazy to see how good he's gotten. I, I actually love that they're playing against each other because they, they remind me of each other. If you guys remember, when Box Box got into the game, he went nutty, to say the very least. He was playing 12 hours a day. I, he, I mean, he improved at insane levels, and, it, and it's cool to see Virtual, the next generation, grind a machine. It's going to be hard to see exactly how the leads line up. Like you said, Box Box is going for red coins here, which means that he's going to be skipping a star that Virtual's getting in the basement, uh, probably the elevator star. Oh, the missed throw! Nice re-grab. So yeah. it, it, there, there's some really good time save that Box Box is going to get here, assuming he doesn't die. He's on, and he's on pretty good pace, I think, to hit a normal cycle. Yeah, definitely not a bad Dark World. I think Virtual's still a little bit ahead, but it's it's much closer than it was. Yes. Yes. Looking clean. Both players kind of taking it safe. Box Box doing a few triple jumps, a little bit of acrobatics to get that last, or wall kicks rather, to get that last red coin. Mm -hmm. Made it up. Oh, man. That bonk. We saw that in the, I think we saw that in the last race too. I don't know why people are bonking there. You know, the, I, it kind of actually, it reminds me uh the, just being a, makes me feel like a kid again. I'm honestly. so nervous. I remember nervous. back in the day, that Holy getting shit. out of that room, I guess all Speed the runs I do, I just go back in the hole. So I don't really know that movement. It's been a long oh, time God. since I've done it. Commentator just trembling. flexing on the, the contestants for no apparent reason. Must be feeling like a little bit deflated from his runs earlier that he did. Doesn't even remember the pre-LBLJ life. Truly does not. Virtual, this is uh, a little concerning. Oh, and the bonk! Being on the pillar. I mean, oh. even if you make the long jump here, which the fly guy is moving, you still wouldn't be able to make it to the bird, so he has to go around, deciding just to go up to the top of the pyramid mm. here instead. We'll go for the bird again. The fly guy, hitting that fly guy is really hard early on. If he started a week ago, it's a little surprising that he's going for it. I guess he might as well. Yeah, I mean, I listen, I saw I saw it in private. Me and, me and Virtual had uh, one private session together. I felt like I owed it to him, you know, get him, getting him in, getting him off on the right foot. We had some fun together alone, uh, just the two of us privately, intimately in a, in a call online. And... He was, he was hitting that pretty consistently, and there he goes. He got it. Very nice. Very, um, very nice of you to reach out just to get him off real quick before the race. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, goofy, goofy, goofy. Goofy. Here All right, we well, Box Box. Ten stars. Virtual heading into LLL, but again, Box Box has the red coin star from Dark World, so still really yeah. close. Yeah, we're going to see Box Box actually closing a big gap here um, in a second. Uh, once they go to HMC, Box Box is going to be able to completely skip the elevator star. And Virtual with a pound in space! In space! <clears throat> and we have an absolute banger in the OST coming through here. Sorry, Chris, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Box Box's ending will be a little bit cleaner than Virtual's here, so... Virtual's really going to have to hit the MIPS and the BLJs coming up. Until then, nothing really too risky. I think Virtual goes for the triple jump wall kick for the floating island star here, which could kill him. Something I've never seen a new player do as he goes for it right now. Like a and champion! Out the ledge grab, not bad. Like a champion, going the fast route. Listen, I, I, I'm not going to say that, like, you know, I'm... What is this guy saying? Uh... 
I just encouraged him to go for that route. I genuinely think that way is smarter. I think it. I think you can just hold straight up. You just time it, and you can get it. Right side is. It, it's always a mess. It, it is almost always a mess. Um. Yeah, I mean, either one can be tragic. Neither one really much faster than the other. I think it's like less than half a second difference or something. So. I mean, left side, if you do it fast, is faster. It's like archaic knowledge that right side's faster, I'm pretty sure. If you do really good movement, left side should be faster. But We don't really need to get down into the weeds with the... Uh, and get in the dirt and get all dirty, unless y'all are down for that. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. What matters is that we're having an excellent race here between Virtual and BoxBox this first, first game. You couldn't ask for something better. They're they're basically head to head going into the MIPS clips, the BLJs as we all know and love. But here's here's where Box Box Oh and the bonk. Sad bonk. Yeah, Box Box will come out a little bit ahead if he can finish up the star. Virtual again oh. has to go get to the island under HMC as yep. Box Box finishes up. He has to do this because he didn't get the red coins in Dark World. Yep. So That's the extra star. Box Box now, you know, swings the lead by about five or ten seconds. Virtual versus Box Elder. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh, he's got the burnt booty. What's the play? Goes for the punch. Here's an opportunity for Virtual to make up some time. Oh, the Ooh. great grab. Just like that. Virtual surprisingly hitting so many hard strats his first week on the game. First week on the game, the man is hot. He he has taken this competition very seriously. Oh, I forgot to I don't split. know if that's gonna work for him. It's close. I'll just split twice oh. later and fix it later. Does a, a good back good backflip. Good backflip back up. Box box hits it first try heading over to the fire seat door with That should be good. That should be good. Yep, the yep. box box straight in. Takes the lead back by a good margin here. Yep. Mips clip causing a little bit of issues there for virtual. Still getting the second one done pretty quick, but but Box Elder, he's got himself a nice little lead here. It, I can't tell if he's missing swims or he's not. Absolutely missing swims. He's crawling inside that water. Yeah. Virtual actually swimming surprisingly faster than Box Box. People don't realize how much time you lose. I think when you miss swims, it, it's kind of hard to tell because you don't really I'm gonna you don't really see here, it. But man. Fake gold. Missing swims. You, you lose seconds. Off of one, like, one missed swim can lose, like, a second. One delayed yeah. swim. Box box swimming significantly slower, but Virtual went all the way up to get a breath of air in the little cavern there. He so did. Box box still going into Fire Sea. Good margin ahead. Nice. The smart kicks. A lot of people get, get a... A lot of people start going crazy on the back of the fin. They're just sitting there like, I don't know what's going on. I'm slipping off. Oh, well, it's all slippery on the back of the sub. What do I do? How do I get up? But <clears throat> keeping it cool, calm, and collected, uh, virtual figures it out. It's a common new player uh, mishap. Virtual with the burning booties. Oh, what's no. he going to do? Hopefully he does not burn himself again. He, he does could use die. Burn to get up to the pole. He's not going to be able to do it now without more coins. Yeah, box box missing the early cycle. I I think virtual can still make a normal cycle, maybe. Um, hard I don't to know. say. The rest of this movement has to be pretty fast. Yeah, he's got to move move quickly. Box box this... taking the left side here. Ooh, getting Force caught in the corner. Down. Yeah, I don't. I'm very curious to see where the elevators are going to be here for virtual. He really took his time to get up here. Yeah, just heading down now for the late cycle. Yeah, missing missing the normal cycle in Fire Sea again. This is uh, Virch this is what Virtual was telling to me. He's saying the Bowser stages are what give him give him the most. I can't relief. handle the pressure, man. And that's where I gotta we're blast gonna the see music Box and calm myself down. Up a lot of time. <laughs> Virtual just stands there, <laughs> talks to the flame spitter until it decides to spit on him. Yeah, trying to. Uh, I just gotta play some music. Use his diplomacy. I can't focus, man. To I'm too nervous. Not get burned, but just eating the flame. Just taking it to the face. Just crank up the music to 11, dude. <clears throat> Getting spit on all over and shit. Just burning his shit. Churning his shit like he's a goddamn butter shit. machine. Just fucking you trying got to turn his shit into something else. But <clears throat> I digress. We're going to the BLJs. As you all know, this is what it all comes down to. Guys. Oh, no. The oh. missed throw from Virtual. Whew. That's that's 
That hurts. It's all right. Virtual hurt. is untiltable. A rock in some chaotic stoic sea or something like that. Yeah, he's a rock in a hard place. Box, box, very quick BLJs. Not not wasting a second. And box, box on some pretty good pace here. I mean, he could he could potentially nab himself in an 18 here on game one, I think. Maybe? Po yeah, possibly? I mean, it's possible. He's going to have to go really fast at the end <laughs> here, but surprising for how, how disastrous his Womps was. Yeah, no, the Womps was... The Womps was very rough, and ever since he's been... He's been cooking. Been cooking with gas. <clears throat> here we go. Box box going into to oh! die and dives off the edge while virtual heads up the stairs here. Doesn't get the clip on the spiral stairs, so he'll be running in a quick circle. That is. LJ. That's really unfortunate. Still plenty of time here. Virtual connects oh! and loses the crouch. He had it. He had it. That was literally it. Would have had a first try, BLJ. Big triple jump dive from Box Box. I didn't know if I was gonna make it. That was close. Uh, I think Virtual's committing to this, but I, I not gonna yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Gave up pretty quick, which again, like the having the game knowledge there to, to know when to give up. True. This early in his career is is impressive for sure. Box Box gonna go for the triple jump wall kick to get up here. Boom! There and it is. It. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Box Box. Box, oh, talking to the door. Box Box has got some, he's got some sauce. He really is a saucy individual. Even while he's uh, making these mistakes, he's still just so clean outside of them. Virtual's got his BLJ. Virtual, I think, is on PB pace. Um, potentially. Potentially. Uh, I, I think he said he has like a 20 something, so it'll be yeah. really tight. For sure. Is it 2050 or something like that? First yeah. miss, first throw missed from box box. Oh, we need about oh, eight more of those. Oh, 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 oh. In the hole. Let's see how this sky goes. Immediate ledge grab. Box box got his first throw. This it's might be a rare it. moment where we uh, watch both runs all the way to the end just to see another oh, missed oh, throw oh, from box box. Really, not putting them together with the throws. Struggling here, Bowser in the sky, getting shocked. <clears throat> Anticlimactic music. What? The CCM music doesn't get you going. Another missed throw from Box Box. Struggling still has only hit one, two to go. First There's try. The second throw, probably gonna hit. Bounces into the bomb. We're oh. going for a weird long jump, looking for the triple jump off the plank here, and hits it. What the hell? Box box with a freeze? Wait, this could be the catch up from Virtual that he needs. Quickly splicing, he's gonna come back and be talking to Peach as if he beat the game. It could but. be. Who knows? To me, it's pretty Wait, did my game freeze valid. on stream? Yeah. Wait, I'm pretty sure on my did stream you... it's totally normal. I, I just did, you, did you finish? Yeah. What's your final time? Oh yeah, it's, it's normal on this stream, 1950. Nice. 1950. Going to box box. Bro, I'm gonna vomit. Oh god. <laughs> you got you got the nerves? Dude, I'm always trembling in any sort of competition, and trembling when trying to do that texture setup. Uh... <laughs> Oh man, but you Everything did it. You pulled fine. it out. Yeah, no, you you really got it together after the uh, after the womps. The Bowser throws were a bit tough, but virtual. I think he's getting. A, I think that's a PB. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Three for three on the throws. What a dark or a sky. Yeah, three clean throws. A PB on his game one. Very I mean, nice. He, he called the PB and the yo, sub twenty during yo. the tournament. Yo, congrats on the yo. PB. Yo, that is PB PBs? indeed. Let's yep. go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dude, you're so sick though. 19. That's crazy, man. Good job. Yeah, Whew, I have a lot to learn still, but that was pr that was pretty good. That was very good. Very nice. You you were you were holding a lead there for a while, virtual. It was you guys were basically tied up until uh, Mips clip, and then Fire Mips... C Bowser in the sky. Yeah, uh, Fire C was pretty bad for me. Did he yeah. get fast cycle? Black spikes? He, al he almost did. Oh my god. Okay. I blundered yeah, the wall kick. 
Ah. Yeah, I got the Niskif cycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that was... It was a very, very rough uh, fire C. Yeah. But you persevered. You still got a PB, and that, that definitely counts for something. Are you guys ready to go into game two? Uh, yeah, I, I need so. to delete the file real quick, but then yeah. Okay. Or no, yeah. yeah. Xbox stream still frozen on yours simply. Yeah. At least on Discord. No, yeah, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. I'm resetting them right now. Just give me a second. Opening it up. I'm ready to go. All right, for this sec for the second round, I need to I need to mute myself and just blast music. I'm trembling so much. The, yeah, I was wondering because you were muted in Discord. Were you hearing my commentary or? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe incredibly nervous. <laughs> Wait, oh, you what? heard the commentary. Why, why are you he listening to the commentary? He did it definitely. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, I think I'll do that. Just listening to our voices. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. miss I miss texture for the third time, and I'm like, oh my god, and I immediately hear, and the miss from Boxbox. Nah. <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely this time. You can like pull audio uh, from my uh, thing if you want. So you have Mario sounds. Okay. Oh, sweet. All right. gonna play, um, you're gonna play music on stream or no? Oh yeah, I'm about to play like, obnoxiously loud music, so you probably okay. don't want to grab that actually. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Here we go. We're counting down, going into game two, three, good luck, good luck. two, one, go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, I deafened myself this time. Oh, and I didn't lose a second on the menu. Let's go. All right, all right. Oh, HD 25. This time I'm gonna just blast music. I can't turn off the in-game music because I'm not using the practice ROM, but I'm just gonna blast music. And I'm just gonna go fast. Just pretend it's a regular stream without resetting. We lost a minute on Womps and we still won earlier, so maybe we're fine. Yeah, it's just gonna be one run, perfection, <laughs> and then we go to bed. And it all starts with a perfect Lakitu skip. All right, just. Calm down, let the muscle memory hit, kick in. Oh, what the hell? I don't know how I still got that. <laughs> I like, I forgot the setup. I right, calm down, muscle memory can kick in. It's just another stream. Just another Mario stream. Donger, Jay, what a bum clip. Odds of getting Alice first try? A hundred. Remember what coach said. Remember what master said. Line up on the red coin. Start a triple jump. Hold straight up. Once you jump, hold straight left, and then you're in. Do a fast texture setup. Just do it so fast, you don't even have time to think about being nervous. Just do it so fast. Don't give the nerves time to kick in. Not bad. Oh. 
We are no longer having a, mel a Mario meltdown. My confidence is restored. I got this. I can do anything. It's time to PB. Oh shit. It's all good. Uh, it's all good. I probably lost like 20 seconds so far. All right, it's better than the other one when I lost two minutes. Maybe I do this one really fast just for the pogs. Oh no. Oh no, no. Damn it. Oh. Okay, honestly, that's already 40 seconds better than the last run. Don't think I can PB, but I can still easily win. Yeah, it's time to go plus ultra on this penguin. Yeah, not today, Faker. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Ready for gold split number two? I didn't die. Ah, uh, it's okay. At least I didn't die. Oh, that's okay. At least I didn't die. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> At least I didn't die. I only lost like 40 seconds there.
Oh, rare Bowser dance. Ah, that's okay. At least I didn't die. All right, Albert, you got this. It's time for a 18 minute run. Hello, Lavasco. Sweeper. Here we go. All right, just calm down, Albert. You got this. Just play like kind of good and don't make any big blunders, and you win. All right, don't punch Toad. Yes! Pacifist run. Yo, what is this yo emo? It's kind of hot. Actually, it's not really hot. It's more like it's cute. Very ay ay ay. Noise. All right, and a perfect mips for the boys.
And now, allow me to cook. It's time for Zero Cycle to restore confidence. Oh, man. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Can I still make the one cycle? Oh, what? Uh... I appear to be having a meltdown. Can I still make zero cycle? I missed it? Uh... Not now, Mom. I'm speedrunning. Alright, how far ahead or behind am I? Can anyone tell me? Is it close? Do I gotta pull out the pog moves? Small meltdown, it's all good. Alright, how close is it? Anyone know? That's okay, at least I didn't die. I'll do this one for the pogs. I'll get a gold split anyway. Ooh. Wait, hello? Wait, something just happened. Uh, I don't have any audio. Wait, I don't have any audio. Wait, okay, I'm back, I'm back. Wait, that's so dumb! I, I didn't have any audio for a few seconds. My headset, like, died. Wait. Oh, did I lose it? Oh, okay. Wow, that was so awkward. My headset died, I thought my PC crashed. But it kept going, I like lost my BLJ. Calm down, Albert! You got this. Oh. Not the cleanest. It's okay. God, I'm having a meltdown. All right, it's okay. At least I didn't die.
Oh my god. Alright, focus, you got this. It's just three throws. How bad could it be? Do it for the pogs! God, that was terrible. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it just read the whole way through the run, dude. Okay, but at least I finished a run. Okay, I it's okay. At least I didn't die. <laughs> I blundered seven different parts of the run, but I survived. Wait, virtual's about a PB again. I'm looking at the stream. He got a PB with a 20-30, and now he's at 19.50 in, and he just finished his first Bowser throw. This could be a PB for him. All right, let's go to the stream. Some crazy matches ahead, and I, I'm very, very interested to see how Virtual does it. He's about to get another PB if he lands this throw. Two back-to-back -back PBs. He couldn't have done any better. Oh! Okay, he could have done a little... He could have done a little better. If he, if he didn't miss that throw. He could still PB, though. Could still PB here. Um, yeah. Quick throw and it'll do it. Really? Oh, you guys... oh, the boot! Oh, he's good. He's fine. That, that... I didn't realize you guys couldn't see. I'm sorry. If he, get, if he gets the star... Yep. Virtual and Emily... A seconds at a time. Oh. Yup. Actually, mm. is it? Nah, is it I think tight? I think it was 47. I think it was barely a PB. Barely. He definitely stopped his time really late. But, yeah. Oh, virtual. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go! Another PB. I think oh. it was 47 on the reset. Yeah. Yeah, it looks yeah, yeah. like it. Congratulations on the, the good runs. Congrats to BoxBox for taking home the win. Very, very nice. Congratulations, BoxBox. You pulled through. You were shaking, Hello. you were nervous, but you Hello. still made it happen. Hello. I'm assuming the music powered you up a bit. How are you feeling after that dub? Bro. Bro. Oh, God. <laughs> I yeah. can't stop trembling. It's, it's, the, the you feel the pressure, bit. right? Yeah. Well, uh, for That's anything that just requires, like, really crazy stick control. I, I am not in control of my stick right now. I'm a menace. Mm. A shaky stick. That's all of us. It certainly <sighs> does, but you were still able to get a firm enough grasp on that stick and uh, got it handled nicely. Dude, I was trying to just like run it like it was my regular stream. I, and and the whole time, my chat kept saying, today. dude, he's so close to you. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I was keep, shitting my pants. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> my chat was like, I missed Lactus Skip, and I just saw a GG in chat, and I was like, okay, I'm closing chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some, uh, some, I saw some you. hooligans. I saw you. Some hooligans running amok in the chat rooms today, for Wait, sure. Wait, congrats yeah. on the double PB, though. That's nuts. Yo, thank you. I felt pretty consistent. I, that was my strat. I was just... Hoping you'd make a mistake, and if you did, maybe I could have it, but 20.4, I'm happy with that. How many rounds does he have to win to face me again? Uh, it's like four? Three, right? I, so, okay, let's say, so box, box, let's say you lose to Josh. Um, oh, do you have a bracket I can see? Yes, yes, here, I'll link it in the in the, in the call right now. Um, so you're going to go go up against Josh. If you lose against Josh, then... You would not fit, you would not see virtual again until uh, three matches later in losers round three. Virtual would have to beat extra Emily and then beat the loser of Papa Plot Coney, and then assuming that you know if it went that way, um, <clears throat> I'll pull this up on stream too. I can show you guys. But yeah, no, it should be uh, it should be exciting to see virtual. I'm actually curious to hear, you know. You, you came out, you got two PBs, you've been putting in work. Are, what can the people expect? Are, are you going to continue putting in work? Um, and yes. Grinding, grinding I, I want the sub-20 simply. I really want to get 
An 18, even. This is just a start. Oh. oh. I am the rock in the sea of chaos. And the mm -hmm. sea of chaos is 20 minute runs. We're gonna get 19, 18. You'll, you'll see me again, box box. Oh yeah, yeah, I look forward to it. Oh, 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 oh. You'll see me again, we'll meet. We'll meet on the battlefield. <laughs> Let us not forget. Oh, I can't wait to see this. I, I'm very excited to see the virtual arc develop throughout this tournament and uh, just excited to see in general where it goes. We're, we've officially completed the first round of matches. You guys were the last of the four. We can begin our losers matches. Emiru versus Mizkif, a classic. Virtual versus Emily, also going to be happening soon. So, oh, yeah, it'll yeah, be yeah, interesting yeah. to see how it goes. Um, I, I don't, I don't have anything really left to ask of you guys. Uh, I got a question. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Oh, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know, out of curiosity, how uh, Papa Platt, Coney, and Josh did? Like, how'd they do in their matches? Um, I think Coney was hitting like twenties, um, maybe nineteens, and I think Papa Platt was hitting nineteens. I oh, think. Papa Platt had a nineteen, yeah. Yeah. Oh, how about Josh? Josh, I think, was hitting 20s, but he's very capable of 19s and 18s. Uh, he was just W. It, it wasn't going too hot for him in the, the first round. Yeah, I think I think Josh is a similar PV to BoxBox, Box, right? Not too far behind. Yeah. Eight, no, you guys. Something. Yeah, it'll be close. Yeah, he's got an 18 something. I know he's been grinding. Um, apparently, he's been uh, apparently he's been training as well. Um, with some Mario gamers, so. Watch when's, out for Josh. Uh, when's be next scary. matches? When does round two matches? start? Well, well, round two, I mean, we, we got to do the, the losers round one. So that'll probably happen next week. Um, so yeah, next week. Uh, probably your match would, would probably be next Friday. Okay. So, yeah. We have a week to prepare. That sounds good. Yeah, you got a week to chop that time down a little <laughs> bit more, trim trim your branches, you know, prune yourself a little bit. It's gonna be good, simply. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna practice the LBLJs, the BLJs. LBLJ? No, nah, yeah, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. <laughs> Do you know what LBLJ stands for? Uh, no, enlighten me. It actually stands for a literally a blowjob. Oh. What? No way. I don't think I can do that in a run. I'd get banned. Oh, Simply does it yeah. every stream. I I do. I, I could do it right now. If you guys wanted me to fuck around and start being a freak, I could just start sucking my you shit just, right now. Yeah, just beating your shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'll let you guys... Shit. This is just getting really just... <laughs> it's, it's derailing very quickly. We're going to stop now. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Chris, for yes. co-commentating. Thank you. Uh, virtual Thank you box guys. box. GGs. Thank you for the race. GGs. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Have good a pleasant your evening, everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye -bye. GGs. Congratulations. Bye-bye. Peace. All right. All right. I kind of did it. I played like shit, but it was like passable shit. Pog. It was the embodiment of, that's okay. At least I didn't die. <laughs> as long as I didn't ha have a major death, it was like, okay. But I did make like 12 blunders. I can think of like 12 different areas where I lost like eight seconds. Oh my God, dude. That was very not clean. Going into the next round, I think it's in like a week. I need to, uh, I don't know what to do. Like, I think I'm pretty good at Mario, but once it's like in the match, I have, I, I have so much fear. Like, knowing that I can just reset whenever I want, I'm like, I just go into it full confidence, right? Who cares, right? You lose, you reset. The only person who like loses time is me. But in a, in a real match, I'm just like, oh, dude, I'm too nervous. Like, what if I fuck up? And then my hands start shaking. My, my arms are sweater. Uh, spaghetti. <laughs> My arms are spaghetti. I, I, I can't do the texture setup. I actually just like, I feel like incredibly like, like this. Like I just can't stop twitching. And same with the BLJs. Could you find someone to race against? No, it's, it's not gonna work. It's the, it's the nervousness of the actual match. A practice match probably wouldn't do me any good. If I, if I told myself, we're gonna pretend this is the real match. Like it's, I'm not gonna feel nervous. I'm still gonna just like play normally. It's specifically the, uh, the, like the stage fright. And the only way is to like just be, just like do more stuff like this. I mean, like in the end, if I lose, it's fine. This is just like a, a streamer tournament with glory on the line. If I lose, it's like whatever. Oh, you know what? Why don't I, I have a crazy idea. Why don't I just have simply tell me some random times that the match might be 
and it's just like, hey, it might be Friday 5 p.m. It might be Saturday 5 p.m. It might be Sunday 5 p.m. And I'll just like get on at 5 p.m. and just start run doing runs. And like, I won't, I won't actually know if it's the match. Oh my god! <laughs> then I'll win. I'll play. I'll play as I normally do. Yeah, I, I've just removed the pressure. All right. Okay. Cool. We won our match. We'll move on to the uh, semifinals. Now it's time for TFT. So I have great news. I have great news, guys. Really quick before we get into it, uh, I am. Pleased to announce, my dudes, that I have reached 1,300 ELO in Pokemon Showdown. Yes, that's right. Following the... For those of you who haven't been following it, I have been practicing Pokemon. Or more like I played Pokemon for the first time uh, two days ago. And we started at 1,000 ELO, and now we're 1,300. Uh, I got like a, a two-hour coaching session with Wolf Glick. Wolfie VGC, my friend from high school. Uh, the game is incredibly knowledge-based. So, like, I I don't think I'm going to be able to learn enough in time. But here, let me show you what I've been doing. It's My coach gave me a team, like, okay, uh, and then gave me a, a brief rundown of what my characters can do. So, look at this, look at this. All right, it's really easy. So, I don't know what any of the other Pokemon can do, but I know what my Pokemon do. Pog, good shit. Pog. Oh, someone donated it earlier, and I, I didn't read it in time. Uh, Tom donated $5. Let us not forget this. What is this? Uh, I'll take a look at the clip after this match. All right, check us out. Check out my Pokemon training. All right, so all you do is... Oh. There we go. All you do is have NDDs. This, she's like a support. She's a thick support mommy. You type follow me, which taunts everybody, and then you type trick room. That's it. That's the whole game. This allows Pogman to get the trick room off, making sure he doesn't get stunned or anything. And once you get the trick room, uh, all turns are inverted, so your slowest Pokemon go first, and my team is full of slow Pokemon. So then now. Uh, now that we go first, because it's we're slow as fuck, you do Helping Hand, which buffs Pogman, and then Pogman uses Expanding Force. And as long as this guy doesn't have a move called Wide Guard, I win the game. I think that's how it works. Or as long as they're not Dark-type. Oh, he has Protection. Okay, but I learned that you can't use Protection twice in a row. So I'll just do it again. Helping Hand, Expanding Force. And then I need to like gradually learn uh, which mo Pokemon has Wide Guard. No! It's Garganackle! Oh, that guy has Wide Guard. Okay. I know Garganackle has Wide Guard. So, I'm gonna go for the hard read. I'm gonna let you go Wide Guard, and I'm going to simply... NOT Wide Guard. Or I'm going to NOT Expanding Force. God damn, he's so good. Helping Hand, and then... Is Rock weak to Grass? So I just ball him. Ha <laughs> ha! We read the wide guard! He's dead. I'm dead. Okay, no, it's fine. Because now I have Torpog. And I have one turn of Trick Room left. So this is where Torpog comes in. This guy is bullshit, by the way. So he's the slowest Pokemon in the game, which means he always goes first during Trick Room. So, buff Torpog. And then you use Testicularize to make your fire move stronger or whatever, and then you erupt all over the opponent, and then the game's over. And you can type GG here. Wait, protection, protection? Wait, he's so smart! He knew I only had one turn of Trick Room left, and he just double protected. Uh-oh. Wait, now I'm fucked. Eruption? Okay, wait, I can do Follow Me to Taunt? And then I can maybe erupt again. The problem with eruption is that it scales based on your current HP. And if they damage me, it's going to do a lot less damage. But maybe with the taunt, I'll be fine. Maybe it still one-shots him. It's okay, because my last Pokemon is a Giga Chad. 
Okay. Goodbye, NDD's nuts. Does this kill him? What? I got Ox Force. He survived with one HP. Okay, it's fine, because Pogman 2 is coming in. Is fighting good into rock? What is, what is ground weak against? Grass, ice, water. I don't have any of those. So I should just use my strongest move then, right? Oh, maybe I can get a Sucker Punch in. Sucker Punch in Glamora. This move always goes first if they uh, attack you. And then poison and water. So don't use a fire move, right? How is ground into, po into water? Normal? Okay. So you just earth power. Okay, nice. We got the sucker punch. And then... How much does this do? Probably not that much. Okay. And then now it, sh it should be pretty free, right? Now I just go... Kowtow cleave, my strongest move. And then earth power. And like, I win, right? Wait, recover? Can he just spam that? Uh oh. Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> Surely I, I kill him, right? Wait, oh, I'm taking damage over time. Surely this just kills him, right? There's nothing else to do other than just keep spamming this move. Okay, Pog. Let's go, Pog people! But yeah, that's it. That's that's the whole game. Uh, I just like do that trick room thing and then erupt and then I use um, I let one person die and then Torpog in with eruption and then if that doesn't work, then you put him you send in Pogman too, uh, who has medium speed to just try to finish off whoever's left. Pog, that's the whole build. All right, now to TFT. But yeah, uh, I don't know like I don't know how good the people are in the tournament, but I think I did my due diligence. I know the basics. If I get owned by people who have like way more experience than me, then like another hour of practice wouldn't have helped. I feel like Pokemon's pretty fun. I think the main thing that gets to me though is uh, the characters aren't hot. Like I can like gush over how pretty Lux is in TFT, but there's no Pokemon that I can be like sexually attracted to. Actually, don't answer that. Don't respond to that. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. It's time to get back into TFT. I was pretty smad yesterday, I lost Challenger. I got hero augmented three times. I, no, I'm good, we, we, I don't need to see the Vaporeon copy pasta again. I saw that yesterday and that was enough for a lifetime. Oh, right, we gotta look at the clip. Tom donated $5 saying, never forget. So what is this? Two years ago. Uh, I'm looking for someone under the age of 18. I'm looking for a hot girl under the age of... I'm going to close this app before I get arrested. Oh, yeah. The the good old random characteristics generator. It generated under 18 hot girls. I mean, that's not my fault. That was just bad RNG. I wonder if I still have that app. Let me see. Oh wait, I might. Oh my god, I think I do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Let's use this moment right here to give a shout out. All right, hang on. Yeah, it just puts a bunch of random traits on the board. And then, here we go. How do we, how do you stop it? Wait. I think it... I'm pretty sure there's a button to stop the wheel, but I don't know what it is. Is it not spacebar?
Wait, I don't know how to stop the wheel. There's, there's usually like a button that I press. It's been so long. Oh, hello, Emily Wang. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Hey, I don't know the button to stop the wheel. Oh. What was that? It was awful stream, but thank you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's play again. Oh. Let's play again sometime. Feel free to backseat me whenever. All right. Shout outs to all the stinky weebs in chat. Hello, oh, X-Ray. Are you in Discord? Oh, I can be. Yeah, feel free to come hang out. Pog, that's me. Wait, let's do one more. Shout, huge shout outs to all Oh, this one is the same thing. The stinky, boring people. Shout out to all the stinky, boring people in chat. Okay, I gotta play the ad break. Otherwise, it's gonna play one in the middle of the game. I mean, it kind of already is at this point. I'm sorry, guys. All right, I'm gonna play it now, though, so you don't get one, like, halfway through the game. I'll see you guys in a bit, okay? Change the game. Hello, Archive. Hello, Wild Killer. Hello, Benito. Welcome. Heart, heart. Hello? Oh, hello. How's your LP looking? Really bad. How about you? Wait, really? I saw you were like almost 800 last night. Yeah, I lost it all. Oh, sorry. Should I imagine it? I'm gonna go heart, heart. Uh. Okay. I think um what the games that I've played Zoe have actually been pretty good. Oh, I heard Zoe's like the most broken unit in the game right now. I think it's yeah, if you have a heart spot, I think it helps. Also, why did you change your name to Boob Bob? Hmm? That's my two favorite things. Boobs and bobs. What are bobs? Is that like a term I don't know? You don't know what bobs are? Hello, no, XX time. Let me show you some later. Oh. I just, I'm just. Should I urban dictionary it? No. Beat Bob. Short for battery operated boyfriend. <clears throat> I think I saw a Zeke's here. What do you think? No, 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 no. That's Morello blue buff. You want me to you read that? Reached 200 I mean, you can today. just make a Morello now, I think. Uh. On Lulu? I don't know, actually. But I don't think you make a Zeke's. Like, it's not going to do anything, right? Uh, no, I definitely think it does a lot because it makes three, un three heart units cast more often.
Wait, isn't that sick? Or am I like missing something? Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's like sick. How many? It. I guess like how oh, many extra casts do you think you can get mid like late two? game? Two. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I I wouldn't. I would just go Morello blue buff, cause, and just greed bis Zoe, and then win the game. Is and it then really get, that strong? Get a heart spat. Oh, uh, it's pretty strong, I think. I see. Okay, wait. I don't even think I can play this Galio. Or, like, I'm gonna say like that. Yeah, I think you just don't care about... Like, you're saying this? That's... Yeah, that looks fine. Or, or Lee Sin. Yeah, because this Poppy doesn't actually do anything. My concern is I can't make 10 now. But I feel like the Galio 2 is worth playing. Oh, I think you can... You can maybe just sell... Rel, sell Lee Sin, sell the thing, Lux, sell Poppy. Really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. I'm selling my heart units. It, oh, no, just the heart. Just the Lee Sin. I mean, it's okay. You don't want Lee Sin anyway. He's worthless. Trust. Damn, okay. Oh, and then you can get a three cost tier. Because you inted. Oh. No, he didn't no, take it away. No, no. Oh? No, he didn't. Wait, what's he playing? Can you oh, see? Oh, Judge New. Laser Core. Consistency. Oh, maybe Talon. But then he wouldn't want a tier. All right, we won the game. Actually, I mean, I don't have the second tier. You'll get it. Or you could just get Power Grid. Mm, mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, and you make 20? That's a guaranteed first. Uh, mm. Okay, so what do you think is the game plan here? You're going to go blue buff, Morello, Zoe. Or if you get power grid, you can just carry Sona. Which one's that? Which one's Sona? Oh, power grid? It's the one that shoots an extra beam. So it like doubles the power of her ability? Uh, kind of. Wait, why would it not double? I don't think it's exactly double. Because doesn't she have, like, the healing one and stuff? Oh, does it not double that as well? Oh, uh, hold on, let me see. How many beams does she heal oh, people? Oh, I'm told that... She shoots two, yeah. and then it goes to three. Hmm. Bye-bye, Galio. Yeah, goodbye, Galio. Because you want to lose anyway. Mm-hmm. This guy's going to grief the shit out of me, by the way. Maybe you can grief him back. Yeah, I know, I know. Hello, Sebastian. Oh, I'm facing him. How Wait, are my... Poppy's pretty strong, actually? Aw, uh, he sold his whole board. Aw. Uh, that sucks. He that heard us game. talking about griefing him. I mean, he's always going to do it no matter what, because mm. for him, it's worth double. Hey, it sucks that I faced him. It's actually not that bad. Like, lose, 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 win. At least it wasn't lose, 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 win. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got to get one tier games playable. Actually, fuck it. I'll get a Zoe in a tier. Wait, so I don't get it. Why is Zoe so good now? They only buffed her by like 20%. Oh, I think she was already good. Like, they just buffed her for fun. Oh, I see. She was already good. They buffed her for fun, and then now she's insane? Yeah, something like that. I want to find out what my admin is later, if I get money. Okay, so what's the build? You just go gadget Gatine heart and then you eventually scale into something else i've never played zoe well, the problem is if you don't get a heart spat taking heart heart and going zoe is a little troll but we could always just carry sona or carry soraka you know okay so it I'm depends down. on like just depends on your next augment i think oh that's the blue buff morello's gunblade wow wait that's best in slot zoe uh... wait i actually just got bis like right off the bat 
I'm down to just blue buff the Sona for now. Yeah, I'm done. And then, like, in the event that we get uh, some sort of Zoe thing, we can fix it later. Okay, but then let's sack one. Yeah. Sack I'm one, and then uh -huh. I go six, roll. Yeah, I'm also down to, um, if you hit like a Soraka, you could always just play Soraka carry as well. Soraka's pretty strong. Wait, is she actually? I thought she was pretty weak. Oh no, she's pretty good. Because oh, okay. I think she was also already like fine, average, like, but then everything got nerfed except for her. So now she's like pretty good, especially with four hearts, six hearts. All right. Crage. We pray for uh, heart spat. Heart spat game's over. Oh, man. It's probably just Burning Spirit. Is there anything better I can get? Uh, oh, maybe Invigorate. Let me think. Oh, it's probably not Invigorate. Then it's just Burning uh, Spirit, right? Because if you reroll, you only get Yumi, Annie, yeah. or Annie. So, like, it's already... it's our, what, We'll just, like, get the same thing if we reroll. It's just Burning yeah. Spirit, right? Oh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's not probably, very good. Zoomies is also okay, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. Because attack speed is better than AP here. Yeah, let's just take zoomies, I think. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Nice. Uh, roll for one roll more. A little more yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Just hit off everything. That's pretty good. Oh my god, your board is really strong. Wait, yeah. I, I just, like, spiked Giga hard. Um, and I actually do Gunblade now, right? I'm down for. Let me think. Yeah, gun, gun blade, draw gauntlet, probably. On Sona. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Gunblade's like in general though. really good if you have scaling. I think Gunblade's just really broken as an item. Yeah. Okay, I gotta check what the admin is and see if it's viable for Soraka. That was actually like a very successful roll down. Holy crap. Like, I rolled like three times, I got four, three upgrades. And then. Mort Dog gives me a Sona 2. Oh man. There's the Zoe, but. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's better than anything on your board. Yeah. Well, actually, if you were to move all these items in some Morellos. No, it's not better because you have Heart Heart, and Zoe's not a heart because you don't have a heart spat, is the problem. Okay. Oh, you're right. We need mm -hmm. Sona to like feed AP to everyone else. Yeah. I see. Oh god, okay. We should also probably move Sona away from that corner. Oh no, no, no. Talon, Talon jumps onto her and then she heals. Oh, okay. I'm gonna sell these. Or sell Zoe. Yeah, sure. Talon jumps onto Sona, taps her ass, she just heals it all back up. Literally, she'll oh, never she... die. Uh. Just let her cook. Hang on. This guy's got 50 gold. Ooh, LeBlanc with a tear. Actually, is it even that? What do you think? Oh, it's probably gold. It's probably JG. Yeah. JG. I'm down to just like get best in slot now. If only it was a Sona on Carousel. And I, yeah. And I think we probably just want to play Soraka. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Four heart. Uh, hopefully the admin's good. I really should have checked it earlier. Maybe I'll hit a little blunk right here, I can find out. Sona 2 Prage. Oh. Oh, LeBlanc. Okay, wait, so. Oh. Is it is it combat start gain mana? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I think it's either the admins gain 50 AP or every five seconds they gain 18 AP. Then it's probably I think the first the one. Combat start is better, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Your Soraka is gonna be OP. Uh, I guess my worry is like with four heart, she's already getting fifty AP pretty quickly. 
Mm. So, like, she... I'd rather have something that was, like, on kill gain mana. Because then it, like, scales the scaling. Mm. But, I mean, 50 AP is pretty significant. Yeah. Okay, so... Why is this guy so I, I probably strong? Sell... Yeah, he's Mr. 100. I'm gonna sell these. Okay. Hmm. I'm 43 health. And I, I feel like that was a successful rollout. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I mean, this guy has a Cho'Gath 2, a Vayne 2, a Kai'Sa with three items, BIS, somehow. Oh, he does have BIS. He high rolled Do you even harder. Sasquatch? Bigfoot? Have a wonderful day. Bless our queen and save your yummy. I wish to marry her one day when I reincarnate as a cat. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's the same way to let this misfortune go. Now he has a Kai'Sa 2. It's okay. Well, level and spike. Uh, I hope one. so. What are the odds that we Trust. just win out here? Odds that we win out? 100%. 100? Okay. I'm down. Oh, God. Look, people are so strong. What yeah, what's heck? going on? <laughs> We're like the same gold, but everyone's just like way stronger. And I thought I had a successful roll down. I have like basically BIS like Sona. I'm getting rolled. It's not that bad. You killed quite a bit. Can Lux cast one more? Oh. Oh, kill the Ezreal. Oh, kill one more? Kill oh. the Ezreal. Wait. Oh, win? Oh. Win? Oh, just win? Win? See? My god, meow. <laughs> Wait, she did the most damage. Oh, Tolly. Yeah, I mean, we have a Sona 1 right now. So we need to level to 7 and either hit Sona 2 and sit or hit the Straka. So I'm guessing, uh... Oh, wait. Isn't it just Tilia, actually? Oh, no, 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 no. Because no, it's no. Star Guardian's 4 Spell Slinger. Oh, no. I think you want to play Soraka. Tilia, I think, is still not the greatest unit. Then I have to do, like, kind of a large pivot, right? So you, you drop the Gadgetines eventually. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you get Alistar in. Oh, I got a shiv. Oh, nice. Uh, you might want to make ZZ Rot first, actually. I'm down. Because you have zero frontline items. Okay, and then buy the Zoe. All right, then let's roll. Oh, wow. This is my so, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. ZZ Rot on Annie. On Annie. You might want to roll for an Alistar. Oh, just hit the Soraka too. Just put it in over Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got a little dizzy. That's kind of my fault for holding on to like random bullshit. Oh no, you can sell um, Talia and Rama. You think I never play uh, Talia? I'm down. Oh, probably not. Yeah. This guy has a Talia 2, level 7, 30 gold. <laughs> oh, and an Talia Echo 2, Echo 2. What the fuck? What How is this possible? Guy? How is this possible? We're just like facing high roller after high roller. Unless mm -hmm. the guy that like, griefed us. Yeah, that's the guy that griefed us. He fuck sold his whole guy. board and then he just hit. Alright, well, I, I gotta roll to zero now. Oh, phony, phony front line. Yeah. 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 Oh, echo. I just gotta roll to zero, basically. Okay, nice. Oh, nice. Uh, how am I doing this? Wait, um, okay, just sell the Sidranis. You also don't need Lux and Poppy. So you, you can play Alistar, Echo, but you don't have an Alistar. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, good enough for now. And uh, I think you just corner your Soraka on the left. Yeah, I'm down. So, uh, I'm never playing Lee Sin? No. Yeah. Okay, never playing Lee Sin, never playing Lulu, I imagine, because we're seeing 4-heart. Um, yeah, I'm down for just 4-heart. Okay. And then, are you sure I shouldn't play the Lux? She's two synergies. She's Force Bustlinger and Star Guardian. Um. Like, I understand that Soraka sure. is like the main, like, selling point of this team. Because you need Alistar. I see. Uh, I'm gonna sell Poppy and yeah. Zoe. And Zavai. Do we ever play? Okay. Do we ever play Zoe here? Uh, I don't think so. 
Okay. Yeah, because I was thinking, like, you might do it for Gadget Katine Yeah, Fangster, you, you but... could. No, actually, you could um, play it. Oh, I, actually, since you hit it, just play it over the Zack. I see it. It is Prankster Hacker. Okay, I'm just going to sell these. Yeah. But, like, there's nothing to hack, right? Uh, You can just hack anything. You can uh, just for fun. Okay, for fun. <laughs> I mean, just hack the LeBlanc, I think. Because she can sometimes she sometimes goes to the backline and just carry, kills the backline carry for fun. Also, no one's carrying a talent still, right? Okay. Can you hack the dummy? Yeah, you can. I've done it on accident. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Okay, I mean, honestly, kind of stabilized board. If I wasn't at one life, I'd be pogging right now. You're Well, you're not one life. 30 is like 10 lives. Trust. 30 is 10 lives. This guy has like Gwinsu's Nunu. Okay, but yeah, hitting this rocket too is pretty nice. Everyone else hit, you deserve to hit as well. Alright, so now I'm just getting a shiv. Yeah, we need shiv. The phony front line was kind of huge, because our front line was definitely lacking. Yeah. You know what would be nice? A Nunu on Carousel. Oh man. Wait, heart spat? Is it ever that? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm down for heart spat. But then we don't have... Yeah, you don't have a, a blue okay. buff for Zoe. Oh, no, no, that's not what I was worried about. I was worried about the shiv. Oh, yeah, I'll just hit that. But, uh, okay, wait, so what do I do here? Do I just replace the Blanc with a heart? No, just wait until you're eight and then put in a heart, I'm pretty sure. Okay, then I'm just gonna put this on Zoe for now because she'll probably cast a decent amount. Yeah. And if I somehow get a, a blue buff later, it's pretty lit. Oh! Wait. Hmm? There's Alistair and Urgot. Surely this Urgot should uh, goes in somewhere, right? Over, maybe... I mean, it could go over Echo, but I wouldn't remove anything else. Then what about Alistair? Oh. I think it's supposed to be Alistair over Zoe. Al Alistair over... No, Alistair over Echo, I think. And then okay. you can play... Yeah. I mean, do you think Prankster matters that much? Probably not, right? No, and but then Zoe. I feel like the Zoe doesn't really matter at this point, then. Yeah. Doesn't the Zoe not matter anymore and you should just play Urgot at that point? Um, It's still a Zoe too. I don't know. Let's see how much damage she does. I'm curious. I suspect that she's going to be kind of useless here. 500. Yeah, I don't think she does much damage, but maybe she helps feed. Damage, we can just wait. Just wait. Honestly, maybe it's still four heart. No, I think it's six heart. Okay, what about you drop Sona? Oh, but she's two star. If you drop Sona, the synergies work out really nicely. If it, you do this. Yeah, but she's better. two star. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I think you just keep it. And the next level is just... um. Echo in? Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, 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 no. How, one of the hearts. Wow. You, could, you drop Annie, I think, is what you drop. Right now? Not now. No, 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 not right now. But like later. Okay. When um your front line is not two poles. What? You call my front line two poles? Annie and Alistair are worth so much more than that. Or you're referring uh -oh. to the literal two poles. Wait, we're winning. We're like hard winning out now. It's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. I think we're pretty strong. Yeah, the phony front line was so perfect. It gives us time to scale up. I really want to play this Urgot. Have you ever heard of the legend of heart gut? Mm. So one time it was windy weather and I got a heart, I got heart spat Urgot and then he just, oh. he just farmed 30 gold in one round. Oh really? Because with windy and heart, he has so much AP. Oh. It's I the see. legend of heart gut. Yeah, so I think the tech is to remove Annie and then you play um, Urgot Echo. I'm down. Or no. No, it's just Echo. I, I don't think you play Urgot. I think it's No, just, he, go, he's gonna farm so go much though. Heart. Wait, what? Just level for and, Echo? No, I I don't think you yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you play Urgot, unfortunately. Wait, wait, he's gonna There's, farm so much. You've never heard of the legend of Heart Gut? Okay, so you can either either choose Echo or Urgot. You can only choose one. What? Why? Otherwise we can't have six heart! Oh, it's just declaw? Probably. Oh man, yeah. we don't have. Okay, we, we don't, don't have spark. um yeah. MR shred, but it's okay. Yeah. 
Okay, roll for um, Hello, a heart. Hello, Turtle. Syndra. Syndra. I did it. Uh, that's okay. Okay, declaw. Um... Yeah. I'm telling you, Emily Wang. You you put this ergot in for one round. He farms twenty gold. Really? Yeah. No cap. How come my ergot never farms twenty gold in one because round? Because you didn't believe in the legend of Heart God. You literally don't even think he's better than the Echo One or the Annie. Oh, I think it might be better than Annie. Yeah. Oh, do we lose this? Maybe Soraka clutches this. I think she one shots Byleth right here. She's oh, holding a pole. Why didn't she target him? She targeted the pole for fun. Okay, okay. Hear me out one time. Okay. Uh -huh. Just do this. Let him cook for one round. Okay. Okay, right. and I'm telling you, you're gonna be like, holy shit, the legend of heart got. Okay. Okay, goodbye, Sona too. Oh, uh, try not to put Urgot near your yeah. Soraka. Okay. Okay, hopefully we don't take like- Behold, wrong side Urgot. Oh God, oh God. We're going but right here. side Soraka. Okay, no, no, watch, watch, watch. He's cooking, he's cooking. He has so much AP and he farms 30 gold right here. Where's my money? <laughs> Wait, where, where'd my money go? Um... That's okay. Wait, this is so bad. Oh! Oh, we still have one. Wait, holy mama, Soraka! Okay, we're gonna, okay get rid of this Urgot! Wait, you I didn't did not let him cook! The legend of the, Ur of the heart got. <laughs> I mean, he was on the wrong side. Hang on, I'm rolling here, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, your frontline is horrible. So... Oh. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, goodbye, Urgot. Fuck you. Ah! <gasps> I didn't sell Annie. I just put it over Echo. No, no, don't. I don't think you sell Annie yet. Actually, fuck Annie. It's Star Guardian. Yeah, 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 I'm down. Wait, what the hell? I think we could have hit Soraka 3. Oh, yeah, you can just pull the Urgot in. You can pull in the Heart God. You, we can still see the Legend of the Heart God. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I, I wonder if he gets AP. Oh, he doesn't. This is not the Legend of the Heart God. This is just regular ergot. But it is six heart. It's kind of sick. Yeah, we're still on Echo 1, Alistair 1. But, like, there's no way we can go 9. Actually. Yeah, we're, we're stuck. No, we cannot go 9. We cannot go 9. What if we went 9? No, no, no. We cannot go 9. No, <gasps> no, no, no. Wait. What? Uh, it's just redemption? Or oh, I think it's DZ Rod. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I see, yeah. More flat HP, I'm down. If only there was MR Shred. I was looking at that mascot Soraka, and I'm thinking about the 12 Sorakas that I passed on my roll down. <laughs> so we go 9 now? Oh, buy the Zack. Oh, after you buy the Ergotic. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. I'm just gonna use Alistar, or do you yeah, need yeah, double Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's Alistar. I'm a little bit worried about our front line. Are you? I mean, honestly, isn't it our front line pretty good? We have two ZZ rods and two phonies. That's pretty good. Yeah, it, it's like seven units. Seven weak units. But like, this Soraka is just cooking so hard, it's kind of crazy. I see why we rolled to zero for her at seven. It sucks that we lost that one round. That one round cost us like 30 gold. Oh, I'm scared. Are you scared? Soraka just takes damage and then cooks right here. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, she barely got bad targeting. It's because the echo taunt. 
Okay, we top fived. I don't think you roll here. I think even if you lose, you don't take 13 damage, and then you roll to zero after. Sure. But I think you need to uh, make sure, like, Soraka's side has to be really safe. Like, I think your like, right side is, like, super open. I but see, your I left see. side looks pretty good. I understand. Okay, I didn't want to come too hard because of Viego. Oh, but I think this yeah. is fine. I think we win this. Uh, as long as Viego doesn't get like insane resets. As long as we don't like spawn a bunch of target dummies for him just instantly ult and reset off of. Wait. Oh yeah. We spawn a bunch of target dummies for him to instantly reset off of. Okay, but Soraka? She's cooking. Oh! Oh. Oh. Wait! LeBlanc? Okay. Hang on. Hang on, we still have a LeBlanc. Let her cook. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, you're, you dead. Mean, you're dead. I'm dead. You're dead. <laughs> Wait, Ew, okay. Oh no, it should have rolled. That was literally like the saddest hard counter ever. Because the prankster dummies and the phony frontline were literally just like free resets oh. for Viego. Oh. But that was actually so sad. Like, we're so strong. With that build. And then uh -huh. we pull in like 500 units and then Viego just Goomba stomps 500 units in a row and then wins. I think if we had like Alistar 2, Echo 2, or at least Alistar 2 maybe it would have been okay. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's completely a frontline diff, but like yeah. we, we rolled maybe 70, 80 gold at that point and I didn't have a pair yeah. of either one. So like, I think at that point you just say, hey, maybe I survive this with one HP and then, or yeah. even win if you get good RNG. And then you roll down 40 gold for both. I don't think it was the right play. I think it was just like, it sucked how the yeah. fight played out. I mean, I think the, like the comp is really strong though, right? Like you see that it's like pretty strong. So you could yeah, play I was, in the future. Yeah, I was impressed with the Soraka too. She was quite mommy. Yeah. But yeah, like, I don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, we faced high roller after high roller. We rolled down to seven to salvage it. A fifth place is not that bad. Mm. It was actually crazy, some of the boards that I saw in stage three. And the 4 1 board. Oh, like yeah. The Belveth 2. And, or was it a Belveth 2? Uh, yeah. I don't no, remember it, anymore. Like, there was like Talia 2, Echo 2, Belveth 2, uh, and like Kaisa 3 with recons. There was a lot. All right, I'll play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. I've decided to get first place. Okay. Oh, you know Yumi is actually broken. You wanna learn the tech, the Yumi tech? If you're talking about like the supers, Star Guardian, Yumi, I already know it. Yeah, it's fun, right? Uh, if I have an opener for it, I sometimes actually play it, yeah. All right, start tier. Oh wait, there's, okay, start Rod. I think it's Rod. Oh, you actually want, okay. okay. No, no, I mean, it doesn't have to be uh, Yumi, but I think Rod is, um better than sword and bow really i like both still oh really do you still play a lot of ad comps then you know you know how you love samira you're like in love with samira hello 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 all right i'm back oh you know how you love samira uh-huh you know how she's like, she's like still like really good, but like people don't play her any that much anymore. So like maybe you can go back to her again. I've seen a lot of her. I feel oh really? Like I've been contested a lot. I mean that was yesterday though. Maybe it's different now. I also am not in love with her. I think I find her to be useful, but I do not find her attractive. Nor do I want to sleep with her. Oh. Who do you want to sleep with then? Galio. The chicken? Yeah. I didn't know you swung that way, Albert. 
Ooh. Give me a bow. Oh, it's an AP game. You think I finish this? Probably no, not. No, no, no. You never finish Galio. All right, all right. It's looking like a super Sivir game. I actually love Super Sivir. That's a thing? I don't know if it's a thing, but I have played it multiple times to reasonable success. Oh, I saw, um, actually, no, I saw one Chinese streamer play it once, but he, like, natural to Sivir 2 3 super early. But it looks actually pretty good back then. Like, I have never bought Ford with a three star Sivir. Oh. I played it, like, 12 times. Uh, I think I reroll. Hold on. You could. I'm down to reroll, or you can. Fuck it, play Lux reroll. No, don't, 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 don't. Um. Yeah, I don't think it's Lux reroll. I'm either down for the Camille, and then you just force Renegades, or you reroll. It's a. It's up to you. Oh. Oh, it's probably just. Uh, get just paid. a Kaisa game. Oh, you want to oh. get paid? That, I mean, that's fine too. Kaisa? Yeah, I think no. Just take get paid. Get paid. Get paid. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm go, gonna go, get go. paid. Okay. Wait. You can pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking of. I'm trying to solve my best board in like two seconds. Oh. That's so dumb. My Galio spawned last. Or my Gangplank spawned last. That's okay. I'll you play still, still win. win. All right, time to get paid. Oh, if I? Oh my god. Wait, you got you got paid so much. Yeah, actually. I don't know. I just did that. Okay, so you have now reached one thousand pogs today. Wow, fuck! My brain is really slow, but we're definitely going five. Boom, boom. It's probably bye bye, Sivir. And yeah, play I'm Alistar. Down. Yeah, play Alistar. Wait, can you even buy it? Oh, you can. Yeah. I think... Uh, yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, my god! I'll get, I'll get We're so strong! We're gonna get paid infinite. Two-star oh, Camille! Kind of strong. Two-star oh. Wukong, two-star Blitz! What the hell? Oh, wait, that's this guy's so strong! Check his PC. Wait, this guy actually like high rolled harder than I did. And I thought I high-rolled pretty hard. Okay, maybe with good targeting, I win this. Oh. Okay, it's fucked. We killed one, not bad. I mean, we killed two. I mean, we killed one. That's not bad. That's okay. By the by the kill. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, this guy is illegally strong. How the hell did you hit two-star Camille with the Camille augment? Oh, Nyla? Okay, honestly, we're still pretty strong. We're fine. Maybe you just sell this Galio. That's what I'm thinking. And then yeah. just move the locket now. Okay, so I have to build like a Hodge here, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I don't know. This is fine. I feel like. I guess Duelists don't have to win Streak Stage 2. You know, thank God we didn't kill Camille or Ezreal Augment. We would have been hard contested. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't scout. My brain's like really slow right now, but I, I had oh, a game earlier um, where my only viable option was to play Talon reroll. And then I was like, okay, let me scout. And then it was uncontested. And then I pick it. And then the last second, two other players picked the same Augment. Really? It was very miserable. Wow, I got three gold. Pog. Nice. It's almost like we did not It's like we didn't lose. And lose. Right. Oh, I'm down for Vayne. Yeah, I gotta get a Vayne. Hodge. You know what I'm also down for? I'm down for the Fiora. I'm also down for Fiora. Vayne? Oh my god. Go, the go, Vayne's go. better. Oh my god. Man. No! That guy's the guy that griefed us last game too! Yeah. Fuck you, Woomy! Well, Wanny? Wait, what's his name? Wanny. Wanny. Fuck you, Wanny. I thought his name was Woomy. 
I don't know why. I can't really you see Super Wall on your computer. You have now today. Oh, Yasuo? Yeah, four duelists. Noise. Wait, this board's actually like crazy good. This board's actually crazy good for a level five. I might actually just like slam this. Oh. If, if I think it's gonna make uh -huh. the diff, I'm gonna slam it. Uh. What? I'm not down, but I mean, Wait, sometimes what, what, you what have do you to think let the, the student do his thing. Oh, since I think we don't really have a streak anyway. Like, because isn't this tier useless unless you make it into a hodge specifically? I think I'm down for like that chain to be an eon or a locket, and then this tier can surely. It'll yeah, turn ideally into it turns into like edge of night and then uh, hodge, but like the odds of that happening are pretty low. I feel like. And I, I don't think that um that uh, the item will make a diff. Wait, this guy rolled me. What the heck? Yeah. Wait, what? Does he have four duelists? He has invigorate. Is this augment good? I think it's decent. Oh my god! Oh my what god! Imagine the... if you got that vein. Oh yeah. <laughs> Add that guy, Madge. Add, Wanny. Madge. But did he keep the vein or did he sell it? Oh, I'm sure he sold it. He's playing Yumi. Oh. What? He didn't take tears? Yeah, I mean, this guy's, I think he's bored because he has Galio really too. Good. He has Gunblade. Yeah. yeah, it's just. Wait, is that a real person? Add Lanny. Oh my god. Wait, he does he actually exist? Oh, no, oh is he watching the stream? No, no, he's not. He's not. Oh. Man, your chat is full of baiters. Wait, did you get any gold? Uh, I believe one, because I was at nine oh. gold. Wait. Uh, they would oh, never bait exists? me like that. Wait, he actually exists? Wait, that whiny guy exists? You know, uh, when I do Mario runs, every time I throw Bowser, everybody types at gay Bowser so long. Making me think that Bowser's watching the stream. And I found out later that he wasn't. Oh. Your chat. Oh, I'm not gonna say it, but yeah, they're. Mm. I think I just go six next round. I think you just roll to zero with the intention of win streaking plus getting paid. Idea. What? Wait, what do you mean? We, don't you get so much money if you if it works out? But you can also just do it at 3-2 like a normal person. But then you miss out on a win streak. You have one win! Goodbye, Alistar. Bye, Cal. Wait. Yeah, wait. I'm going to miss out on a win streak. Like, I've got pair of Kales, pair of Veins, pair of Nylas, and I'm... All right, do it, do it. Sometimes, you know, I'll learn. Okay, go, go, go. Just do it. Let me be the one to cook, and I'll show you how insane this will be. Boom. Okay. I roll to zero, and I hit two stars. Boom. Okay. Oh, okay. That, that's all. I'm not Wait, confident. I thought we were rolling to zero. Well, I just meant, like, that. That was enough. Oh. Oh, well, because, like, it's it's either hit a Kale, Anila, or two Yasos, two Fioras. Okay, are you down to make any items here? Uh, just Hurricane, I assume. Yeah, I'm down. I I actually think I just slammed this, because I have to 5-streak here. Uh, sure. I'm down to see what my augment is first, because I know I win this round. Like, I'm pretty sure I need to just, uh, yeah, slam it, just, like, win out the, the mid-game, and then get massive get-paid value. Because at this point, people are level 5, level 6, level 7, and I get paid, as long as you win, it's 3 gold per round on average. Okay. And then streak is another three gold. So it's like insane econ, okay. right? And if you're taking econ augment for duelists, you basically like have to have a massive lead uh, to even have a chance okay. of going top four. Okay. 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 Oh. All right. Uh, it's just battle mage, right? But it's pretty really? bad. I, I feel like it's probably just new recruit. Well, uh, plus one gold, trust. I'm down. Yeah, Battle Mage doesn't seem very good with this vein. Yeah. yeah. These are all pretty bad, unfortunately. If it was Think Fast, I would have won the game on the spot. 
Oh, nice. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, really? I think you're super strong. Uh... Like, surely no one okay. could possibly beat you. Like, uh, besides that... Oh, I might... You might have to put in recon um, for that, that, that guy. Yeah. The Camille dude. He might try to, like, kill your vein. Oh my god. Oh. I thought that was rocket grab. I was like, did I not scout? Okay, what are the odds I get six gold here? And six kills. Pretty high. I already failed. You don't need six gold. You only need four because you're going to sell your GP. Oh, yeah. I already failed. Just fuck him. Oh. Oh, Holy two? Crap, this guy's Can we get four? Can we get four? So tanky. Can we get four? Oh. I'll, t I'll sell for three. Two? Match. Oh. Oh. Nice. Uh, oh my god. He actually got think fast and just won the game. If this really? were me, I, I would like have three star everything. Pretty slowly. Oh yeah, he definitely think, did not think very fast. He's on wait, one star thinks, Nyla. Wait, no. Five Yumi's? Wait. Manny, you gotta work on your think fast skills, man. Oh, this is not he's, okay. He's watching the stream. No, I know, that's what I'm telling him. I'm helping him. That's fucked if up. Just, no, if you're just nice and baby him and tell him like, oh, nice try, you got, you'll do better next time, they, like, he won't know how awful he failed. Damn. I think... What the? He rolled a rocket grab. No! Wait, that's actually... That's actually fucked. I, I just lost my streak for that. Wait, that's actually so fucked. Oh. That is like the dumbest way to lose like 40 gold. And like, I can't do anything about it. I have to cor- I- I have to corner my van. Oh, maybe That's that so was dumb. karma for being mean to Wanny. Oh, I mean, I wasn't mean. You were the one who was mean. But yeah, holy shit, dude. I'm actually so upset. I just lost like 20 gold for that. I lost streak, get paid, and HP. The only thing I get here is okay. carousel placement. So maybe I get You the might Zed. get that yeah, Zed with a bow. Zed. Oh? Oh my, see, okay, so we lost for a reason. Like, yeah. if we didn't lose, we would have been last pick and wouldn't have gotten Zed with a bow, so we actually yeah. won. Yeah. Yeah. But what a calculated loss. I'm pretty sure you actually go for this, by the way. You're going for Yasuo 3? Yeah, it's because um this guy's taking all the two costs out of the pool, so you're more likely to hit. Um... And this guy is going Camille. I don't know if he's is he actually but... going Camilla reroll? What's his augment? Is it the carry? It's the support one. Oh. There's no more rocket grab possibilities, right? Yeah. It's frustrating that we rolled the... It's a 1 in 3 chance to face the guy. And then mm -hmm. it was like a 1 in 4 chance of getting rocket grabbed. We... Yeah. And like, even if we think it's coming, I can't do anything about it. Well, like, without griefing the shit out of my other matchups. So you just like have to hope it doesn't happen. And it happened at the worst time. Madge. I'm so sad, dude. If I got Think Fast, I would have won the game on the spot. I am a Think Fast connoisseur. Every single game, I just like tell myself, all right, if I get Think Fast, this is exactly what I'm going to do. And then it's a, it's a free win. Uh, think fast to soar. No, think fast is actually lit. Like, literally, I think it's dumb that, like, there's actually a thing, but every, before every single augment, I tell myself if I get think fast, I'm going to do this, 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 sell this, 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 mm -hmm. roll for this, this, this. And then, like, there's only, like, a, I think it's, like, a 1 in 50 chance that you get it. So, whatever mm -hmm. your odds are of prismatic based on the chart, and then it's a 1 in 20 chance of getting it from there. Mm. I feel like I never get it. Oh, wait. This guy's kind of strong. This is the guy you made fun of. Oh, I'm sorry, Wanny. Go easy on us, please. I, it, we don't have a streak anymore, so I don't think it matters that much. <gasps> wow, that was, like, not even close. Don't okay, worry, he's mind. going eighth. I'm gonna sell these. 
Okay. I'm just gonna go seven and then play like the standard duelist board. I guess you you will go seven. Oh, actually, you already have like Nyla Vein. Maybe you go eight and then you just like try to hit everything two star plus like fiddle echo. Wait, can you look at that guy below you, Azeo's board? Huh. It's kind of gross that like we're even like close to the same HP. We're so much yeah. stronger than him. We must add like insanely bad matchup RNG. Uh, there's a locket. Oh. I'm down for eight duelists. I just got a duelist spat? Yeah. Did I just get that spat right now? Yeah. And then a bow to go with it? Yeah. And a rod. Wait, and a locket? Yeah. Wait, wait what the fuck? I, I wasn't even watching, but did I, I just like high rolled everything? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm down to uh, Duelist Kaisa for now. Over over the Annie. Oh, really? You think okay. it's better? Um, Just in case you have that scenario where you get pulled again, at least she, she can recon back. Oh, I feel like I need the Ox Force, though. I mean, you, you might be oh. right. Oh, no, no. We can play around the pull now because you have Kale. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I was supposed to play Alistair over Annie. My brain is really slow. I'm like missing a lot of really easy things. Wait, I can't believe I just got eight duelists, just like that. Imagine I get level up right here. Oh. I mean, I'm it's always for, CB. Yeah, I'm down for a CB. It could I think be, Mayshift would have also been pretty good. Well, I'm also thinking of component grab bag because you have three unsunned components right now. Oh. Uh, and... I, okay, component... I actually... Wait, can I see them again? Okay, I actually think CB and Makeshift... They're pretty high CB, value. Sorry. Compo component and makeshift have higher value here. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think all three of those are pretty good. I think it's I think all three are pretty good, actually. I don't know. You can pick. I think they're all good. Let me do some math. All right. I'm going to get three completed items right here. Oh, God. Hopefully, it's not like tier, tier, tier. Oh, that, that'd be so funny. Oh. Oh. I could do three hurricanes and a blue buff. Oh. Wait, I actually just lost I mean, the game. Isn't blue buff, blue buff vein might be okay? I don't know. Uh, it's like not that great, but it, it it's a way to kill off two. Yeah, it, it's a way to kill off the components. Yes. Not very good though. Wait, how did Belvet Belvet get on top of us? I don't know, but the the fight was doomed anyway. Wait, that's actually so sad. Holy shit. I had three unslimed components, and then I got... Now I had six unslimed components. I will not die. I, I'm pretty sure you just go uh, Hurricane Zed. Yeah. And then try to and figure something out. And then go for Lost Whisper. Yeah. Lost Whisper on Bane. Last item could be Cure's Us. It's like, not the worst thing ever, but at this... If I saw these components, I would always take any of the other two augments. Yeah. You can um buy the Ace Soul. Oh my god, Duelist Soul! I played Ox Sol, Ace Sol, and now it's Duelist Sol. Why not Static Kaisa plus Recon? It is too late for that, my dude. It is way too late for that. I'd need to be on like six Kaisas for that to be useful. Oh, I destroyed this guy. Wow, man, Prismatics really shake oh, things so up. so rich. I'm pretty sure you just go eight here because of- Yeah, yeah, I think so uh, too. Because of get paid. Being zero gold and winning is like way better than being seven or fifty gold and losing, especially when you consider the HPs in the lobbies. Okay, so uh, it's just a glove here, and if not glo <laughs> Oh, I'm not down. Let's go, ten duelists. I'm down for glove or the fiddle, I think. Oh. Ten duelists. Okay, glove or the spat, probably. Glove, glove. You think so? You, you think so? Yeah, I think so! I I actually think... Okay, so if you think about what the spat does, right? You make the dual spat right now, you get to remove Kale and put in, like, Echo. And isn't that like, a huge improvement to your team? You're about to level anyway, right? Then I could have put in two Echoes. True. All right, I'm going to roll. Oh. There's oh, the and echoes. the two Echoes show up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell? 
Um, yeah. Echo heard you were talking shit. <laughs> if only those were Zeds. <laughs> Man. Oh, pl just put Vayne all the way to the left. Uh, she'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Surely I don't roll into the Raiders. Surely they guy. You don't roll into that guy again. Wait, that's so funny. If only I if only I got Zeds as easy as I got Echoes. But I mean the Echo's fine. Now I need Zoe. No, if you said, oh, I could have leveled and put in two more Zeds, you would have gotten <laughs> Zeds. Wait, look at that. I just got seven gold. You know what? Is it a, hmm? This vein's pretty strong. Sorry, what'd you say? Do, is it a go nine? Is it a nine or do we roll more? Uh, there was one guy playing Zed. Odds of hitting, I think, are pretty decent. I see three Zeds gone. If I roll down, I'll definitely hit Zed two, Alistar two, and a Zoe. And Fjord two. But like, uh, is it worth it is another question. Uh, I guess we see how this fight goes. So I'm pretty sure the correct play involves dropping Kale and Gangplank. You just like sack the get paid after a certain amount of time. Uh, and then let's see, put in Fiddle, Zoe, uh, like Urgot. And just like random good stuff. I'm pretty sure that's like the end game board. Okay, it's definitely not go nine. Now that I thought about it and like what you could hit if you uh, roll, it's definitely not a go nine. Remember when you made fun of this guy in high school? He just dealt 13 damage to me. Yeah. It's okay. Oh. Okay, now do we just... Now do you go nine? Well, I'm pretty sure we'll be dead if we try, because it'd be three fights and you can go nine at the zero gold. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure roll. you have to roll, because, like, I think what will happen is my board's going to start falling off really hard soon, because eight duelists is a good uh -huh. mid game and it doesn't do much late game, unless you have a vein three. Uh, can you see how many veins are out, by the way? Can we hit vein three? I mean, not with this amount of gold, but I can hold them. Uh, I'm trying to see how much that recon guy has. I think he has three. I'm not sure. I will not bend. Yeah, he's got three. Okay, either way, I'm going. I've made my decision. I'm going to roll. I'm going to Yeah. Okay. Echo three. I forgot the Zoe. Oh. Wait, I'm, I'm like so bad Zoe. right now. Holy shit. Oh. Wait. Oh, vein? Yeah. Uh, open up your... Uh, Zephyr? That was the wrong unit. But... Okay. I'm so slow. Holy crap. I gotta stop buying garbage when my brain is slow. We hit zero Zeds, but we got four veins. It's not bad. Wait, I'm I'd getting paid. four veins, then two Zeds. Aww. No. Okay, I, I guess we're rolling it down, right? Yeah, we're we're hitting for sure. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. I'll even thin the pool. Actually, I really shouldn't be doing this if my brain is slow. Forgot. Well, and we got no Zeds. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Wait, lucky, lucky pathing. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you drop Kale and you drop Gangplank after a certain point, and then you play uh, Zoe and Urgot. Oh my god, we almost won. What does he have a lot? Does he have veins? No. Oh. Oh god. We gotta hit this vein. Actually, I don't even know how good this Urgot is. Fiddle's way better. Come on, two veins. Oh. 
Oh, we're still in Alistair 1. Okay. Surely I hit a vein 3. If I have vein 3, you can actually top 4 from here. I think it's like really sad that I didn't hit Zed, by the way. One Zed? Or we, we already had one Zed, and I rolled like 60 gold now. Uh oh, goodbye world. Alright. Okay, sure vein on Carousel here. with a Zed item, and then I hit Vein and Zed. Another duelist spat! Down. What is it? It's right. windy, right? I. Uh, no, it's sunny. Oh. I mean, surely we hit Vayne here. You know, it might have actually been the duelist spat, and you just play like something. Because I don't think this Giant Slayer is going to improve very much unless I hit a two star Zed. Dude, I could have had 12 duels this game. 12 duels. Yeah, isn't this like really sad? I mean, I guess we just die. <laughs> I don't feel like I got to play the game. That, that was like 90 gold at level eight and there's only three sets out of the pool. It was extremely hittable. Do you want to sell Vayne's oh. for Z? No, I'm We're just going to We're getting die. killed by the guy we made fun of. What do you mean, we? <laughs> you made the fun of him, and I said, hey, man. And then now that we're losing, you're saying we made fun of him. Oh. Was it really just me? Dead. Dead. That was a really sad game. I actually got like hardcore augment diffed. I got fucked by the prismatic, and I got fucked by the component grab bag RNG, and I got fucked on the roll down. That was a triple way fuck. Every single hole. But yeah, that was actually crazy. Like. When you take component grab bag, the value of the augment is based on how many unslammed components you have. Mm -hmm. The value of the augment goes up with every unslammed component you have to help you finish items. And then we actually were in a world where we had zero playable items. That was crazy. Six components, zero playable items. Because we had duplicates and duplicates of bad components. Holy shit. Oh, you want, you want to know what happened to me today? That What's made up? me just FF. So I was playing, so my first augment was like um, Yasuo Exile. So I was playing Laser Corp. And then I just got, I just naturaled two tiers and I was like, okay, now what? And then I took item grab bag and I was like, surely this won't be another two tiers, right? And it was a blue buff. So I just had tier, 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 trying to play laser court. So like, like, I want to try to snipe you. Maybe I'm same LP enough. Hello? All right, I'm back. You left? Yeah, I went to I went to go get food. What's up? Oh. I am um gonna try to snipe you. Oh, you'll never be able to, I'm way too low. No no, I think we're about the same. Like it's not that different. I get masters players in my game sometimes. You're a thousand LP. That's four digits. But that's only like four hundred different. That's like actually not much. Like think about it. It's like someone in Diamond 1 getting into a game with someone in Diamond 4. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, I'm down. I'm down to get in your lobby and get free LP. Yeah, I, I think I'm average like 5 today. Actually, I don't think it was that bad. Like 4.7. Oh, wait. 5 is not that bad. I had an average of 6.5 on like two of my streams earlier. Wait, really? Yeah, I got like hella smadge. I mean, like, maybe I'm bad at salvaging games, but, like, once I get fucked on Hero Augment, I just, like, don't want to play anymore. I have no motivation to, like, try. 
That's how I felt about my tier, 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 tier laser corp game. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm like down to play all the games that are realistically top fourable. But then I, once it's like not top fourable, I like don't even want to play anymore, so I just go eighth. Which oh definitely no. like lowers my placement by my average placement by a lot. Cause like a pop? Yeah. Some of them can be salvaged to like a fifth or a sixth if you like play really well. But like mm -hmm. the idea of like trying to play really good TFT and play the best TFT up, like of the lobby and just for like to lose twenty LP instead of fifty is incredibly depressing. I feel like I'd rather just say Madge at Mort Dog and then um, move well, on next, to the next game. Yeah. Ooh, Robin songs. Time to fuck him up. Fuck him up. Dude, Robin's been uh, getting increasingly more attractive lately. Really? Oh, I don't actually know. I just like to say random comments. Okay. This Robin guy keeps calling me grandma, but he's older than me, so I don't know why he keeps calling me grandma, because doesn't that just make him, like, great-grandpa? But then he doesn't even acknowledge it, and he just keeps going. And then today, he came to my chat at the end of my stream and called me grandma, and then I tried to um, time him out, but I accidentally timed out my tier 2 sub, who's been subbed for, like, a year. And then, and then while trying to unban him, I accidentally banned him. So, Sounds that, like that guy's guy never coming it. back. No, like, fuck that guy. How dare he, like, write a message in your chat? True. What do I, what do I start? Is it belt or tier? Wait, my average isn't even that bad today. It's 4.5. So, I... Uh, I used to, like, be really tyrannical, and I would just, like, ban people for, like, saying things that upset me. But then, uh -huh. I figured out that why don't I just, like, automate the system and make it so that they can ban themselves? Uh, so I created this thing right here where uh, if people want to ban themselves, they just type OK in chat. And then 10% uh, of the time, it'll ban them. Like, I just like say all the Oh. No, people are getting banned. Wait, that's so cool. Yep. It saves all the busy work of me having to ban them myself. Oh, I got time now. Nice. Oh, thanks for the sub. Call me shiny. All right, I'm going to play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna disable it now. Unlucky. Oh my god, if this was the other one, I would have won the game on the spot. Hmm. If this was the other one, holy shit. Divine Ascent. I... Uh, the Galia one just got buffed. I'm kind of down to give it a try. Kind of down to give it a try. Like, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to take Vitality of the Ox here and you just play Duelists. The items aren't that great. But God, I'm going it's definitely like a Duelist, like a bull game. But I'm going to just try this because I think it's interesting. Oh my God, I have so many Kales, dude. Oh fuck. I probably should have sold the kill to make 10. Okay. 
So, let me think about this. Let me think about this. So, if I have Justice Punch... Right, first of all, I'm not going to test it, right? I feel like really I, Lulu. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, what units does that entail? I don't know. Where's my little legend? Okay, you're about to see something very woke, -ch. and don't ask me if it's good. All right, I can't guarantee it's good, but I can guarantee that it is woke AF. I'm gonna play three-star Giga Chad Galio with Titans. It's time for everyone to wake up. So I got this one time earlier, and it was so much fun. It's basically like Galio at home, or uh, Shoe You at home from set seven. Gain a Galio. His ability costs 70 less mana. Cost deal uh, deals more damage and knocks up its target. So the idea is you play like a, a tank carry Galio with Titans, uh, and then like full full like whatever stats. Uh, now the question is, what's gonna be my accompanying units? I have four kills, so I'm thinking you just go like Gangplank and Supers. But I do see that I'm contested. Uh, where is he? This guy. Wait, that's Emily. Emily, are you contesting me? Well, what are you playing? Did you stream snipe me just to contest me? Well, what? I can't tell what you're playing. Is it not obvious I'm playing Giga Galio? Oh, I don't actually know if Lulu Reroll uses Galio. I'm sure it doesn't. You can just go ahead and grab the other units. Oh wait, don't grab Malphite either. No, what do you mean don't grab Malphite either? Okay, you have Galio, I take Malphite. Well, I, I need supers. I'm playing Galio. I play supers. I play Lulu. Listen, listen. Who needs LP more? Me. I, <laughs> I think we should go off of the system of, of the needy should get it first. Okay, am I actually playing Lulu reroll though? I it got buffed. Oh fuck, am I just gonna take a Sunfire Cape? Oh no, what am I doing? I don't even know how to play Lulu reroll, man. I wanted the Titans, but it's not there. I have a three gold Sunfire. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I tell you what? what. You can actually have the supers. I have a different idea. What? <laughs> I. <laughs> if you don't grab any Galios, I won't grab any supers. You were never gonna grab any supers in the first place. What? I I'm going to play supers Galio. I sold a Rel on accident. Maybe it's a Yumi game. I don't want to slam this if I don't have to. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you don't grab Galio, and I won't grab your supers. Okay. I won't even grab Gangplank. You don't need a- You were never gonna grab them in the first place! I have four You're kills! You're lying to me! You're I have a Gangplank right queen. here! You see it? I have it on my bench. I don't know I'm gonna sell it. Because I'm such a considerate guy. I don't see any on your bench. I just sold it! But you can't uh -huh. come here after I sell it and say it's not there. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, here we go. This is my build. <laughs> God, Why are you holding hand seven? Eight. Wait, you're holding Yumi's? So I'm playing Yumi! What the fuck? <laughs> I am trying to be flexible here and play around you, and now you just. You don't even have a Yumi in your board. You're holding hand seven, eight! Wait, I'm gonna get first. You, you're welcome to hold my hand second, but I'm not going down there. <laughs> I'm playing Giga Gal. Oh, what are you doing here? Fuck! Now I have to slam a sunfire. What? What the hell, dude? Do that! 
Like, I don't want to slam it. I will not bend. Like, you actually leave me no other choice. I have to streak. No, I have to streak. Wait, what do you mean? I'm, I'm on a three streak right now. I'm on a one streak. <laughs> what the fuck? How is that comparable? <sighs> but you can't even be upset. I, I did not even want to streak. link the Lulu bots? Do you remember what they were? Yeah. So, uh, they actually just changed Lulu. They made her a lot better. So when you get a two star and then sell it, she gives you uh, extra money. Oh, okay, okay I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna Google it. I'll be right back. Dude, if I got Ding Posh, I just... I'm down to just play all vertical mascots. It sounds terrible. Okay, I'm probably gonna sell these kills. Oh, give me a bow. Give me a bow. Hello, drinking a pork chop. Oh, man. Okay, so what am I looking for here? All mascots? Is it really just all mascots? Are there any other units I want? Probably should have thought about this earlier. Oh, wait, don't need the Lulu. Maybe the Sivir? Oh, I can see it being a Sivir. Uh, it's not supers, though. Wow, I'm like really slow. I don't know what to do. I never really played this board before. Vertical mascots. This guy has a naked Ash 3. I didn't hit a single Galio. Oh, I think I'm going eighth. Wait, I actually didn't hit a single Galio on that rolldown. Okay, uh, 30 is about as low as you can roll here. Okay, I'm down to grab Sivir and Mascots. Is it good? I don't know. We're, we're definitely like freestyling it. Man, yeah, 30 is as low as I can go here. And now you just chill. Uh, it's probably Electro Charge. It's at least some damage. Oh wait, okay, now you gotta roll. You gotta roll now because you're one off of, uh... Yeah, we're one off of, of Nasus 3. I mean, surely I just hit it in like two rolls, right? If that was Galio. If that was Galio, man. Alright, so they did buff mascots Wait, recently. Wait, Albert, we actually work really well with each other. I literally, like, had to pass on like eight units I would normally play to play, let you get what you want when I would normally hold the 12 Lulus that I saw in my shops, and you're still holding Galios. No, I, I'm only holding two of them, because I have to play four mascot. And you, like, like, don't worry, I'm only holding two, trust. I skipped like eight Lulus when I could have easily had mascot heart, and you won't even... Okay, do you want me to sell one of them? Yeah, I'll sell, sell one. one for you. Sell one. Okay. Full we'll lead. Wait, don't we actually work really well together? Cause like there's every single person is rerolling a different one cost. Hmm. I don't think it's better. Uh, I mean, the result of my build is because I was trying to dodge all the other rerollers. But yeah, wait, that's actually kind of crazy. I'm kind of jealous of these guys though. They all hit their three three stars. I'm, I hit, I rolled like forty gold at level four and I hit zero Galios. What are you eating? It's it's some sort of stew. But the electric is pretty nice. I guess I just chill and then eventually try to go uh, through Star Galio. Wait, you're holding my Malphite. All right, you can hold what? two Malphites if I can hold two Galios. How's that? Okay.
Dude, it's actually kind of working. I beat the 100 win streaker. Are My you happy? vertical mascot is actually kind of crazy. I'm actually really impressed. Wait, right, nice job. Dude, I'm popping off. This, I'm like the, the Da Vinci of TFT right now. Like, oh, what the I'm fuck am I playing? Angelo. <laughs> I actually have no clue what I'm playing, but it's like kind of working. It's like TFT vomit. Oh, if I get that. I no. need that. You leave me no other choice but to TG my dog. I just leveled for three mascots. Something's Beware off. the dog. You have three star Lulu? What's it like to be able to hit three stars? I'm sitting on one star Yumi, one star Alistair, and two star Galio. I don't know how that's possible. Like every other three, uh, every other one cost is like gone from the pool. How did I not hit? Is it worth Wait, it? I'm a little Galio confused. Three? I thought you were supposed it to have four is. mascots at six. How come I only have three? Uh, it's because you only put three mascot units on the board. Oh my god, I'm dying to Talon, aren't I? I got one shot! Uh-oh, goodbye my streak. I really don't think Sivir was the correct unit, but like, I'm kind of down. It's a source of, of AD damage later. I feel like for this build to be efficient, <clears throat> I need to be picking up like at least one more uh, one or two cost while I pick up the Galios. So down to like go for Yumi three server three. It's like AP backline, AD backline, and then I guess like the future is a uh, six mascot or maybe sure shot and Aegis. I'm so jealous. All the rulers have their three star carries. I'm sitting on four Galios. Swap Nasus with Galio for the Chalice value? No, that's a bait. Galio needs to be on the inside, no matter what. It's not going to change much. This guy's going to kick my ass. But I have a feeling this build might spike really hard soon. Wait, my Galio is actually like... Or maybe it's the Nasus. Who's doing the damage? Oh, both. Wait, not a bad loss. Alright. So, it was Hero Augment into Silver. So, Gold or Prismatic. Could be Think Fast. Alright. I'm like super slow at rolling for new builds. So, let me just start rolling now. We're just looking for exactly what we have now. Yeah. I don't think you even think about any other units. Okay. I think I rolled down to zero here. Somehow I'm in first place with Galio 2. I don't know why. Oh, mascot spat. Mascot spat. Oh, I got my Titans. Wait, I'm actually high rolling. Okay, so you roll to zero here. Then you grab uh, mascots or sure shots. Wait, what's the other mascot? Oh, it's Malphite. Okay. Fuck. Roll to zero. I'm so I'm too slow to do that. Okay. Next round, I roll to zero. Fuck. I'm actually so slow. Okay. So I need two Galios, four Sivers, uh, four Malphites. I know the Malphites are very contested. Wait. What the hell? Where's my board? What do you do to my board? They're gone. Wait, what the hell? How did I? Wait, how did you kill me so fast? I think Lulu might be okay. I don't know. Oh. Wait. Oh no! I think I just lost. Mascot crown. 
I'm actually down. I'm actually down. Okay, I gotta roll to zero. Galio. Just gotta get one more. Come on. I'm so slow. Okay. Are you planning to keep all five Malphites, by the way? Just curious. Yeah. Because I'm also rolling for the server. Wait a second. Oh, okay, hang God. on. I just faced someone who FF'd. Pogo? I might actually go... Hmm. I might actually go 8 mascot. You can go 8 mascot? I mean, I have a, I have a spat buff? and mascot crown. Uh, 6 oh. mascot was buffed, not 8. Let's see if this galley is any good. Wait, was 4 buffed? Yeah, four was also buffed. Wait. Dude, I'm actually winning. Oh my god. Wait, it's windy weather? Oh my god, I know exactly what to do. Okay. Okay, if I get Janna, I win the game. You know what, Emily Wang? You can have these units. I'm gonna sell. You can have <clears throat> you can have the Malphites. All I have to do is go eight. Get one Janna. One Janna, one Nunu, and the game's over. Wait, where's your damage? Is it just <laughs> That's the beauty, I don't have any damage. <laughs> it's just mascots. This is a zero damage team. But isn't it so funny? Just look at my Galio cook. This word sucks. Okay, I could have taken the belt, but without a Nunu, it's a pretty dead dream. Instead, I will take this Urgot, and I will farm components. Also, Urgot actually does damage, so I'm kind of down. Donna, level up and just play this guy. Yeah, I'm down to level up. Surely, Urgot makes the econ back for me. My Nasus thinks he's the carry. Don't do heart spat. Uh... Oh, the Legend of the Heart Urgot? No, no I'm going to greet for Mascot Spat, but I, should, I need to get a Nunu first. I fully intend on going 8 Mascots. This game is going to be so funny. You had Malphite 3, but you sold all instead. You're a dumbass. I had 6 Malphites. Learn to count before you trash talk. No, I don't think I beat this guy. One more Urgot. Okay, this board also no. sucks. This Fiddlesticks is just standing there menacingly. Wait, this Fiddlesticks is gonna like one-shot my whole board, I think. Oh my! Get fisted! You have now reached 300 flush today. It's probably Samira. I don't want to get rid of this Urgot though. Fuck. Alright, I'm not going to get rid of it. Nice, I guessed correctly. 
It's actually just amazing how much of this Galio does. It's so scuffed. I have like zero sources of damage, but my team is just like somehow doing it. The Electric Charge is probably like the best Silver Augment I could have gotten. Oh, I got wrecked. My board sucks. Oh, he farmed the component. Okay, so the reason why I'm losing is because I do zero damage. So, like, I, I really just need that one Jana. Do you Jana. know you're supposed to second row or third row, Lulu? I've never played this comp before. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like, you put her as far up as you can without letting her die. Okay. Okay, let me think about this. Oh yeah, I need to go eight somehow. Somehow I just have to make it to eight. Okay, so D claw, heart spent. Hmm. And maybe ox spent. Nah, nah, trust. Ergot, Ergot cooks here. He gets me a component. Surely Ergot gets me a belt here. Oh, kill the Mord, kill the Mord. Nice, HP saved. If I were to level here, could I even, like, do anything? I could play an Annie. Alright, I'm down. And then I'll get money and life is good. Alright, am I just gonna slam a heart spat? I wanna believe in the 8 mascot dream. But I'm also going to be dead soon. I'll slam the heart spat. Why not sure shot here because you lack damage? I mean, a two-star silver is not going to do anything here, I promise you. Two-star silver with with a mascot spat is not going to save the game. It, it has to be like a Janna. Wait, am I actually winning this? Wait a second. <laughs> my, my Ergot's cooking! How am I winning this? <laughs> what the heck? This is actually just the dumbest game if I top four. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so this entire game... Oh, maybe Aesol. This entire game comes down to hit Janna. One Janna, like, the entire game is over. Stay same. Hopefully they're in front of me. 80% chance to win. I highly doubt that. Oh, he didn't slam items. Come on, print me money. Money or items, nothing. Come on, heart got you're better than that. I just need one Janna and it all comes together. Oh, dude. Wait, do I win? No, my comp does zero damage. Okay, Janna on carousel. Jenna 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 on carousel. I win the game. Just one. No. I probably take the fiddle. Actually, I need damage. I wouldn't be surprised like if the right play was just go Gwinsu's Samara 2.
I don't know. None of these seem very useful. Like maybe Declaw, but I already I'm already tanky. I need a unit that can actually convert to damage. Mascot fiddle could be good. I uh, I don't think it'd be that good. Come on. Misfortune. Oh! Wait, holy shit. Oh, I'm playing 7 out of 8. Oh, this Talon just one-shot me. I lose? I hit- I finally hit, but I, I couldn't even fill up my inventory slot. Man, this is so sad. I finally got the Janna, and I just instantly got one shot. I actually had, like, kind of a good board at the end. I just had to, like, have two more gold so I could play that Annie. Dude, it was such an interesting board. Okay, this is just, like, a really sad matchup, because that Misfortune that I literally just built got one shot. I finally had, like, a backline, and I finally got the Janna. Oh, just from all my carries to instantly get one shot by the Viego guy. Dude, that's so sad. It was such an interesting build. Like, I had no idea what I was doing, because I've never played Galio carry like that. But it was kind of, it was kind of woke. Thanks for the gift sub. Thanks for the gift sub. Thanks for the gift sub. Hey, notters, hey, notters. Thank you very much, Prodigy DDK, for the 20 gifted subs. That is very appreciated. Thank you. Can I get a box bobbing in chat? Fireboy Prodigy DDK. Out of curiosity, get third. I'm gonna look up the uh, win rates of Justice Punch. Here's how good it is. It is bad. And it looks like the board is Lulu. Actually, it's, it's exactly the board that Emily Wang is playing. But she was hard contesting me, so I couldn't play it. According to metatft.com. Yeah, the best play is just play Galio, Supers, Lulu. Madge. Oh, Danny Pitt. It was, it was kind of interesting, at least. It almost worked, too. If I got, if I got that Janna a little bit earlier, I actually could have top forward. I think you just win the game. This board looks nuts. Robin? Well, yeah, I mean, you hit three-star everything besides Malphite. Wait, who wins the game? Robin? You win the game. Oh, no, I don't. I lost to Robin by, like, 100 units. Wait. This, this Lulu just, like, thing kind of sucks. This just laser core. Oh, but I see. He hit, like, every three-star. Oh, yeah, he's actually pretty jacked. Oh, and he's level nine? How did he do that? I think he hit, like, you know how, like, the order of people hitting was, like, Robin first, and then this Talon guy, and then me, and then you? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm dead. Hey, holy shit. Robin is popping off. Wait. Never mind. Robin's dead. I'm dead. You're dead. All right, this comp sucks. Rural one cost is not it. Dude. My Galio was going to be so cool. I never believed in my Lulu. I believed in my Galio. He was the pug man. Alright, I'm going to play the ad break. I'll see you oh, guys in pop? a bit. Nope. Maybe I should go take a nap. Oh yeah, you did like a full stream, huh? Yeah, I streamed for like nine hours, but then, you know, what's sad after a long nine hour stream and you're down LP, it's like, what did I just spend all day doing?
And then, like, it would be fine if you're, like, down LP, but you gain knowledge. But then, you know, when you don't gain knowledge... You don't feel like you gain knowledge? Just, like, I don't know if I gain knowledge. Maybe I did. Wait. I think MF sucks. This is a mirror matchup. That's about matchup. all I gained. Wait, we're exactly the same. Literally... Uh-oh. How do I win the mirror matchup? All right. I will watch you play and take a nap. Hmm. Box, box. Yeah, this isn't TFT. Do you have an attention span of two seconds? Back to do you not see me again. show the client what just now? Uh, it's like 50 LP above me. Maybe oh, 80. Got this. Easy. All right. Good night. Have fun. Good night. Okay, so I think we just go set up the trick room. In the, the mirror matchup, armor moves has flash fire, so you can't use any fire moves on him. Oh, venerable Jack. I'm down to just still set up the trick room. Oh, he stopped the King Gambit? Wait, what are you supposed to do against Final Gambit? Or, like, is it just inevitable and he always one for ones you? <laughs> oh, you can protect? I see. Alright, I'm just gonna erupt. Expanding force sounds fine to me. Ten enemies. Ten. <clears throat> oh, he switched to the dark. Oh, my God! What? This Torpog guy is not balanced. Like, right? What were you thinking, creating Torpog? He forfeited. Wait, I can't believe Riot just left Torpog in the game. All right. I feel like my brain was very slow. Like, even though, like what, that game, it was a it was an unfamiliar build, but I was rolling at like the speed of a snail. So, I'm just gonna crank my brain up to eleven. Yeah, I'm just gonna think at a uh, hundred fifty percent speed. What was your brand at before? Like, two? They really did my boy Nash's dirty. That guy, this guy's useless. Oh, Startini. Thanks for the prime. I'm done. Maybe it's that rare vertical anima squad game. the girl in the yo emote this girl is very good at winking super something i'm down it's me smiley face oh interesting noted all right down to hold supers oh wait is this actually that lulu reroll build
Wait, I might actually be able to play the build from last game. Or like something kind of like it where you get like some mascot super stuff. Uh. Wait, I have underground. Wait a second. Oh, wait. I don't really like these. Uh, I don't think Radiant Relics is that good. Maybe if you like knew what carry you wanted to play already. You could do Living Forge and then like Underground Loose Streak and then try to pop off later. It's probably just that. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Living Forge and then just play Underground. This will be interesting. Wait, Collector? Wait, now I gotta try to win. Wait. Okay. Now now I'm trying to win. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this is so awkward. I'm like playing Loose Streak, but then the game gave me a Collector, so... Hmm. Okay, it's kind of a fucked situation. Like, I, I don't have the setup to make Collector work, and Living Forge is kind of RNG on that part, so we just low rolled it, I guess. Oh! How about Lee Sin with a gun? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not Lee Sin with a gun, right? It's definitely like a backliner with a gun. And you just have Lee Sin be the tank. But I think it's early Lee Sin too. I can I can work with this. Oh yeah, wait, Lee Sin's blind. Maybe you shouldn't give him the gun. Okay, this will be a I d I don't know where this game is going, but it's interesting for sure. We need music that is interesting to reflect this game. Something that makes everyone go. So that makes the whole track go rat jam. Yo, should I just play brawlers? What's my admin? Kale with a gun. You have now reached 100 jams today. So I don't think you actually play. You can't play Jax here. Oh, one gold. The reason is like, Jax with a gun just doesn't really work well. Uh, and then he doesn't scale very well off of the Orn items. I'm pretty sure you just go legendaries. Yeah, just go legendaries. Ooh, belt. Down for belt. Three gold belt. Three gold belt. The music is too loud. What? Oh, tell them to stop. Stop. Alright. If this group, if, uh, if Caravan Palace is not your thing... How about some, uh, Rockefeller Street? Wait, my god! What? Wait. I said it wasn't a Jax game, but what the hell is this? Bro. Bro. 
Bro, what? I just casually hit a two-star Jax at four? Wait, it's actually a Jax game. I have so many brawlers. Cruel Pact, how did I, I dude, I'm actually, I have no awareness. I didn't even know there was a Cruel Pact guy in the lobby. Okay, one gold. No, Jax stole the kill. Should I give Jax the gun? Oh, two gold. Wait, is there a chance that I win this? No, I actually almost won that. I also won Blitz. I'm pretty sure Cool Pact is terrible now. They nerfed it really hard. Oh, I actually like this. I like this a lot. This is Econ. Oh, yeah. Are you guys ready for this? This is going to be awesome. So you cut and run. You take this. And then you give Jax a gun. <laughs> Yes! Jax with a gun! And then you can item move it later when you actually have good items for him. My god! Imagine if he had a real weapon. And he does! Pew! He's a money printer! You can run, but you can't hide, Ezreal. Why aren't you printing money, Jax? What? What's the odds of- is it not 50-50? Oh, 40% chance. Hmm. Oh, Leech Shogun. One gold, that was it. Should I actually just go Brawlers? I, I guess I could. Like, I got so many Jaxes, I feel like. I feel like you'd be trolling to sell them. I mean, okay, this is like a really bedge move, but what you could do... <laughs> you could just like, use the Jax as Mecha Prime Fodder and just play Samira. It's like really boring. Everyone would probably instantly leave the stream out of boredom. But it would be effective. Okay, tell you what. We go three-star jacks with a gun. Uh, next round, I get Think Fast. Next round, I get Think Fast. I get three-star jacks right here. BT. I be honest, I'm a BT just to like win streak. Yeah, fuck it, I'm down. Let's win the mid game. This is not good late game, but it's it's very good right now. Alright, dude. <laughs> what a game! <laughs> okay, so what happens if you have a prismatic start? 40% chance of hero, 50% chance of gold, 10% chance of prismatic. Okay, so these are all good. If it's hero, I get Jack's hero augment or Revan hero augment, pog. If it's gold, I pray for uh, brawler heart, or brawler crest, or scoped weapons. And then if it's prismatic, I roll it down for a brawler crown or uh, think fast. If I don't see anything immediately good, I'll just immediately go for the, the thing fast. This guy's level 7. Reverberation? I mean, it's gotta be a reroll for Jax, right? Oh, there's only one hero augment though. Like, there's only one 3 cost. Uh, I think reverberation's like pretty decent. Let me look up the win rate of it. I, I heard from Asa that he thinks that reverberation is better for Jax than the Jax hero augment. Let me look it up. It's pretty decent, 4.41. What about Jax? Relentless Assault? I mean, Relentless Assault's like straight really bad. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I'm down to like test out this theory. Oh wait, no, I'm not supposed to grab it yet. Let's let's do a small roll down here. Okay, we're in. Oh what what? Wait what? I rolled once and just immediately hit. <gasps> oh 
Oh, and then I can put Ornn items on Riven. It's actually not bad. Maybe late game give her the BT. Late game I could give BT to Riven and Gun to Soraka. But yeah, I think an early two star Riven is really important. Maybe rebuild Lucent, give her Sunfire. What's your admin? Oh, I don't know. What is my admin? Your team gains permanent 15 max HP at the start of combat. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. That's really good that I have it in now. So every stage is like plus uh, like 80 health. I wonder if it works uh, against wolves. I would guess not. Dude, this game is wokech. Wokech af. <laughs> this is so funny. This is like an insanely flexible Jax game. Like there's just like force Jax and there's whatever the hell this is. Imagine Brawler Crest. I mean, I'm down for Brawler Crest, Brawler Heart, uh, Scoped Weapons, Think Fast. Uh, Battle Mage is okay. I'm not sure. Like, you don't even have to play around the Jax, right? My, my Jax's items are a little scuffed right now. You can just play around uh, Soraka and having a strong frontline. Sucks that I can't win streak, though, because there's a Cursed Crown guy and a Birthday Present guy. Oh, did I lose this? Oh god. My Jax is getting focus fired. I lose. Madge. No way! That is a blue buff Soraka. It's gone. Damn it. Okay, I'm actually done for the Riven. I'm down to just take the Riven with the chain. I think it's really strong. Because you want a 3-star Riven. Uh, you always want 3-star Riven with a reverberation. And if you're going for 3-star Riven, grabbing a Riven on Carousel with an applicable item is like saving 20 gold. Because 20 gold is about how much it costs to get a Riven. If you were to roll down at 7 and say, I want to roll until I hit 1 Riven, it'll on average take you like, yeah, about 20 gold. Now I just go 7 here and I roll for a 2-star. Okay, good roll down. What the fuck? <laughs> What the hell is going on? Okay, so how does this segment work? She gains 20 AP and her ability is also cast on her lowest HP ally. Okay, so you just want Riven to be alive as long as possible. Get as many casts off. So let all like, the useless units die first. And we also want to 3-item her, so... I'll probably rebuild the Lee and move Sunfire over. And Sunfire, Bramble, BT, it's like, it doesn't sound like best in slot Riven, but it's actually really good. Right? She fulfills the anti heal requirement, and then she also does a lot of damage, and she's very tanky. It, it leads to the situation where uh, your Riven could clutch the round even if Jax dies. Man, I guess I'm just chilling. It's probably like a, a slow roll. My god! Okay, well, I'm down to roll twice and just see if I hit the Soraka. My God! I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going on. This is my reward. I played a flexible game. This didn't look like a Jax game, and we somehow are making it work. What's going on? I don't even have my Blitz two yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that Samira 2 looks really scary. Oh, it's cool pack guy. Okay. As long as my Jack stays alive. My Raven did not stay alive. Okay, I'm probably going to roll down, because there's so many things I can hit here. Oh. A rocket grab? Okay, I need to put that on Lee Sin. And then if you rebuild them, you can redistribute. 
Uh, we should roll, because you can hit two-star Blitz, two-star Vi, a Sejuani over an Ecton, and uh, you can just grab every Riven and Jax possible. If I get close, like I'll just roll it down to zero. I'd also like to rebuild this Lucin, move the Sunfire. A Spat? Oh, wait, I don't think the Spat's useful. Oh, a Nico? Oh, and a Shiv? Oh, and a Shojin? Wait, what? There's no um there's no spat that's good here. Maybe maybe four heart, but I'm definitely slamming a Is there ever Titans? Wait, it might be Titans. I actually think it's Titans. And then you play around this ribbon. Like I think the Riven is going to be better than the Drax, so I'm down to like uh, prioritize items on her. Okay, I have a Nico. I might roll to zero here. Wait, oh, yeah, I'm so strong. I cannot believe I just like high rolled every upgrade. Oh, Brawler Crest. Wait, that's. I'm pretty sure that's insane. Wait, now I just now I just level up and never lose again. Right? Alright. Alright, I'm done. And then you roll one time for Sejuani? Oh my god! Like, I didn't actually think it was going to happen, but what it, it actually happened. I had two gold. Like, I just, like, I've been hitting so often that I just, like, had some sort of ridiculous confidence that I was going to hit and be fine. This is not normally. But yeah, look at this. We actually just completely sack the Jax and play three item Riven. I'm not kidding. This Riven actually just, like, is better than Jax right now. This is the power of reverberation. It's box box on Riven. Actually, you know it's not box box on Riven because she's actually winning. How much HP do they have? Uh, good question. They probably gained like 200 HP each. We can tell if you, um, if you remove the admin. Oh wait, I can't remove the admin without removing a brawler. So it's gonna like scuff the numbers a lot. Oh, I can put in the other Blitzcrank. 1294, 1503. So it's like 205. Yeah, I'm down, let's go. Dude, brawler Soraka with a gun. I can't, I'm, I'm playing Jax without the Jax. This is actually just so funny. Like, should I say fuck it? Let's just go Soraka 3. Anyone else down? Like, I got four Ribbons, four Jaxes, four Sorakas. Why don't you just get Soraka 3? And there's no way I lose the mid game. I hit every two star. My Ribbon's crazy. She's sick with it. Keeps the whole team alive, too. Oh, uh, wait, she died. Okay, it's fine. I got a million other units. Oh, I gotta sell something. No! I'm not going to sell. I believe in Blitzcrank 2. <laughs> I believe I'll hit Blitzcrank 2. Alright, for item... Man, what am I gonna do with this spat? Is there a single spat that you can do here? Like, maybe another heart spat. Just do this for Spark. Admin spat? No, it's not that. That'd be three admin. Do heart spat on Jax. He literally doesn't cast his spell. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure there are zero good spats here. So there's like a dead spat unless it turned into a fawn. Like you can maybe slam a heart spat and just get a little bit more AP, but you can't get to the next threshold. Oh yeah, you can do laser core, but it, that's actually not good. Like it doesn't do anything. I'll just have a dead spat. Go nine. Dude, I'm going for Soraka three. You want me to go nine? Let me just hit Soraka three and go nine. Oh, dude, how is my Riven dying first? Uh oh. How is that happening? My Riven should not be dying first. Mm. Damn, I got wrecked. If my Riven didn't die first, I would have won. If she got like one more cast off. Taunt from Defender? I don't have Defender in. Unless Defenders naturally do that, but I don't think they do. Oh, they do? I see. But it actually sucks. So no matter where I put my Riven, she's going to die first. Do you want to put it on the side? No, I'm pretty sure the middle is safer. Oh okay, yeah, I could, I could actually backline her. Just to like make sure she lives, because she should always be the second to last unit living. For the fight to go the way I want it to, she should be the last, second last one alive. Like, I could have had a 5 streak here, man. Madge. It's kind of crazy that my best unit was killing herself this whole time. You shouldn't roll for Jax 3 here. Go 9, get a legendary. You're a dumbass. If you're telling me to not roll for Riven 3 and Jax 3, like, I don't care about Jax 3. I care about Riven 3. Riven 3 is what wins me the game. I promise you, a 1 star Soraka, or sorry, a 1 star Fiddle is not going to change anything. Neither is a 1 star Syndra. I might drop two brawlers. We'll see. Could play four heart. My uh, Blitzcrank's AFK. Earth the Blitzcrank. Hello. Give me a spark here. I already have a Sunfire. Uh-oh. Wait, these all suck. I mean, it's probably Bramble. Those, those are actually all terrible, by the way. The reason why it was all terrible is because, like, I, I, I'm getting it at Jax 3. I wanted, like, an RFC or a QSS or a BT for him. All I can do is just make a locket, I guess. Why not Gwinsu's? He's going to get stunlocked to death. It's not worth it to go Gwinsu's unless you already have a QSS. I was thinking about it. It, it might have been Gwinsu's Bramble, but I don't think it can be here. Oh, wow. Wait, I won! What? Wait, what? Okay, that was weird. I'm gonna roll for Sedge, too.
Mm. Definitely should have sold the Blitzcrank, but I was out of time. This is fine. Sedge 2 will come back while I hunt for Jax 3. But yeah. Witness the power of Reverberation Riven 3. I think what happened here is honestly to be expected, because a lot of people are playing Jax just because of Mecha Prime. So, but no, nobody's playing Riven. So, witness the power of Riven 3. I mean, and Soraka with a gun. <laughs> Alright, so here's what I do. I'm gonna get one Urgot, I'll just play him for a bit, and then he'll farm me a component. Yo, this game's actually kind of crazy. Is Jax worth chasing with the items? Oh, I know exactly what item he's gonna get. <laughs> Trust me, I'm gonna have a Jax 3 with 3 items. <laughs> Trust me. Yuraka did nothing anything last fight? I mean, she got grabbed. What do you want me to do? I got a ribbon, though. Witness the power of reverberation. Watch how unkillable she becomes. She just takes damage, shield, deals it all back, heals it all back up with BT, takes damage, and just rinse and repeat. All the meanwhile, I've got eight brawlers living and Soraka scaling everybody up and killing everybody. Bonk. Bonk. Alright, so when I said I was going to get three Jax items, this is what I mean. I'll take an item here, and then I Living Forge. Whatever my last Living Forge item is, it'll come back for Jax. Wait. No! Give it back! Give it back! <laughs> what? What have you done? I I believed in you, and I didn't sell you for econ, and this is what you do to me? Okay, I've got a Nico. I can <laughs> I can Nico him. No, it's fine. Alright. Uh, maybe if I shake him hard enough, he'll give it back. It's all good. All right, what does JG Blitzcrank do? Almost literally nothing. <laughs> he doesn't do any ability damage. That's fine. This is a JG Blitz diff. This is so satisfying. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> My board is just so slow. It's it's so uh it's it's like a slow burn. But she's scaling. My god. Eleven thousand damage riven. Alright, check this out. I'm gonna cast a spell. Alright, I call it Sejuani no Jutsu. Sedge. 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 It can wait. Gotta remember to also buy another Blitzcrank. Okay, there's no way I beat this guy, right? This guy's like incredibly capped out. Right? If I can beat this guy with just a Riven 3, he's got like a capped out level 9 board. If I can beat this guy, there's something wrong. Oh no! His Leona is gonna ult my Riven. Oh no, it's because of the taunt. No! He actually counters me. No! Riven's gonna burn! Riven! No! Oh my god, the taunt really comes back to bite me, dude. The taunt makes Leona one-shot her. Okay, I gotta, like, backline. Okay, this is a Jax item. Motherfucker! That is exactly the opposite of what I want on my Jax. I don't want him getting attacked. Bro! Okay, maybe I get a remover. I put this on Riven.
What if Living Forge let you pick every time? It'd be the most broken augment in the game. All right, come on. Jack said, I'm right here, baby. Oh, RFC! We're actually saved, what? Oh, but I could get a whole spark. No, I actually think it's, I actually think it's this. Okay, just roll. Look for a Blitzcrank, what the fuck? Okay, I need to get one Blitzcrank, I'm not even kidding. Wait. If I hit a Sejuani first. Okay, I actually, this is so dumb that this is the right play. <laughs> I cannot believe I just did that. What the fuck? I hit everything naturally, and I just Nico to Blitzcrank 1. What a- what a weird game. Right now I have like, almost best in slot jacks. Alright, I mean it's just me and this guy now. Is, am I strong enough now? My my portable forge, honestly, or my living forge kind of like trolled the shit out of me. Like, I don't need the hook. The gun was not very good. I had to like adapt really hard to play around it. And then this eternal winter is also not what I wanted. All right, I'm gonna move my ribbon back. I'm gonna move my ribbon back and try to make it so that she doesn't get unshot by the Leona. Let's see if it works. Let's do this! It's all up to you, Riven. How did Riven go to the back line? She just <laughs> went straight to the Aphelios. <laughs> no! Leona's on Jax! Someone do some- Oh, Jax is doing it. My god. And then Riven just lives because she's Riven 3, baby. This deals, what, 15 damage? All right, it's time to finish this. I cannot believe, that was definitely the most woke ch Nico's usage I've ever seen in my life. Oh, he just got a lot stronger. I promise you, it's not strong enough. He's gonna move his Leona right here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move my Jax right here to beat the shell of the Leona. Right here. And then I'm gonna move Riven back. Oh, he didn't do it. Interesting. Oh, he wants his Leona to be safe. Wait, oh, he got his Leona grabbed on purpose. Kill her quickly. Nice. That was kind of scary. Holy crap. Thank God we actually finished her off before she one shot my Riven. This should be enough. Yeah, no, reverberation. Soraka with a gun. My god. This is insane. Nikoing a one star Riven. Hey, he forfeits, so I didn't get my cutscene. Nikoing a one star Blitz was actually the best play. I cannot believe it, dude. In what world do you Nico your Blitzcrank 2 <laughs> as the optimal move to win the game? That could literally be the entire title of the video. Because if I didn't have that JG, I wouldn't have been able to beat him. Yeah, like, this is, uh, I, I don't know, this is the, you will never see a Nico like this. Something like that. Actually like a wildly flexible game. I really didn't want it to be a Jax game, but I hit way too hard and had to put, pivot into it. Had to play Jax with a gun. Actually, that wasn't even really a Jax game. That was more like a Riven game. She popped off so hard. Oh yeah, no, I got it. The one in a million Nico use. Yeah, something like that. Something like something some title that gets the people interested.
All right. Now I'll let the YouTube people come up with a good title. In fact, why don't I go message him right now? If we have to say hi, YouTube. Let me go tell him, hey, Tim, this game is death a tuber. The Riven 3 with the most insane Nico use in all of TFT. Hello, Maxim. Welcome. All right, I'll play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, uh, during the ad break, listen, I want you guys to do two push ups and spin in a circle once. Okay? Okay. Oh, G Man Cold. Hello, Shattered Soul. Hello, Fear the Poro. Yeah. Hello, Bushing. Oh dear, okay, um, I'm probably rerolling. I don't really like Radiant Relics here. I wonder if it's ever prep three, but no, nah, I'm gonna reroll. Golden ticket. I'm down to reroll something. All right. Okay, the question is, what am I gonna reroll? Uh, okay, I think. Okay, think, Albert, think, ding dong, ding dong. So, what do we have right now? Uh, we have like close to underground. And then I've got belt, belt, rod. It could be super server. It could be like super as anything. Could be brawlers. Do you wanna wait for hero augment? That is way too long to wait. So many Annie's. Uh, don't need these units. Oh, so 
Wait, maybe it's Yumi. Wait. Oh my god, it's a Yumi game. Huh? Oh. I'm not done yet. Wait. It's actually a Yumi game. Okay, wait. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm down. Let me just make sure it's not contested. Because if I was going to pivot, it's right here. Loaded dice, but I don't know what he's going for. He's underground. Yeah, I think it's actually a golden ticket Yumi game. Yeah, okay. So. Hmm. Do that just to make econ. Okay, so... Sorry, my brain is always really slow with reroll comps. Because like, I always want to make sure I don't miss a, a unit. But I end up being like half speed. Okay, so if I'm going to play Yumi, uh, I've heard that you go for the Nyla items first. So it's like Sunfire, Redemption, and then Titans. So you probably go Chain Vest here, because Chain Vest goes into Titans and Sunfire. So it's probably highest priority here. That sucks. Okay, uh, then a tier. There's a couple ways I could look at it. One, I could take the glove right now for a three gold JG. Or I could take the tier because you need blue buff and you need redemption. Okay, I mean, I've watched my I, I've watched my friends play this a lot. A lot after a lot of my streams, I like, go hang out on Discord with my friends online, and. It's actually very funny uh, what some of them do. Uh, I have this friend. Her, like, favorite thing to do is uh, she just, like, goes to work. Like, she works from home, joins the meeting, and then just, like, turns on uh, turns on TFT and then just play Yumi reroll. She says she finds it very relaxing. She'll just, like, be in the meeting, and, like, every 30 seconds she'll look up to see if she got a Yumi. And then she'll just, like, play the exact same six units every single game. I think I actually sell this game plank. With golden ticket, I'm pretty sure like making the econ is more important. But yeah, I've seen her play Yumi enough times where I'm pretty sure I can do it to a reasonable level. So it's gonna be Redemption Nyla. So it's it's really weird, but you prioritize the Nyla items first. And you just like slam garbage on Yumi. Like if it works out, it works out. But if it doesn't work out, you just like play like you just play like Hod Jumi if you have to. And you just go for the exact six units in the build. So. Now that might be contested. But yeah, you just go for exactly the same six units, which I believe are. Uh... Oh, wait. I don't really want to win this round. Okay, this should be weak enough, right? Yeah, we lose. But yeah, uh, it's because like the Yumi will be getting a lot of mana just from getting damage. It's more important that you have like the redemption and the Nyla to heal. The Nyla has to stay alive. She keeps the whole team alive. She heals for like 5,000 per round. It's crazy. But yeah, so you send it on three, two. You go six and you send it to zero basically. And then hopefully you spike out. Wait, I'm actually a little bit scared of if I win this round. I mean, I'm down a level, because you go 6 when you roll here anyway. What happens if you don't spike on 3-2? Uh, then you just you should lose the game. It's all good. I mean, I never said this build was good. <laughs> but it is what I was hitting, so I'm down to give it a try. I'm pretty sure Yumi has an average placement of like 5 right now. Maybe this patch made her a little bit better, though. I don't know if they buffed her, actually. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's not a good item. 
Oh, maybe a spark. It's pretty good. Oh, lady picks. Yeah, I'll summon a spark. Uh, hello, Krusks. Okay, so I'm missing a rel, but we gotta stop. I gotta stop holding the garbage. Like, there's only six units in this build. I'm gonna like overcomplicate things if I like think about it too hard. I might hold on to Galio three, but if I need econ, I'll sell him. All right, let's go six and then roll. I'm kind of scared. This guy is holding a Nyla. Wait, what's his build? Underground brawler. Okay. Oh. Wait, th this is really luck unlucky. Maybe it's Verdant Veil. Vale. Maybe it's Super Soul and you drop the Gangplank. Wow, this is like really unlucky. Uh, I think it's just Verdant Veil. Vale. Because I'm pretty sure you keep the Gangplank. Alright, I'm just going to do Verdant. It's not the worst thing ever. Alright, let's roll for some two stars. Need a Nyla. Okay, and we're only rolling for like these exact units that we have. Don't even think about the other ones. Keep it simple. Okay, that sucked. I did not hit a Nyla. Nyla was the most important upgrade. But also, because I, I was rolling really slow, I didn't hit my uh, Malphite 2 in time. But yeah, I would say that was definitely like a very below average augment for me. Why not Echo over Rel? I mean, the Echo 1 is better than Rel 1. Uh, once I hit Rel 2, it changes. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm going to just sell it for the Econ. Okay, so use position like this. Nyla, like, uh, with as many people as possible. And at the last second, you just, like, move to one side to snipe carries. But yeah, like... If there was one weakness to this build, it's that you get CC'd a lot. So maybe Verdant Veil could be good. I mean, attack speed's not terrible, it's mana gen. But Battle Mage or something would have been way better. Or even just Windfall. Windfall would have been like instant all three stars. Think Fast would have actually not been good here because I don't have much money. But Windfall with Golden Tig would have been crazy. Okay, uh, I think you just take a. Oh, Nyla on Carousel with a belt. No, with a chain. Oh, with a tear? Damn it. That's not the right item. I will take the chain. Double redemption? No, it's not very good. Uh, I'm gonna slam this Sunfire on not Nyla. Because I think the Titans matters a lot on her. I'll just give this to Lee Sin. He'll also be in the middle. Dude, I want to roll for this Nihilus so bad, but I, I definitely should just build up Econ. Build up Econ and try again later. Why are you not itemizing the Yumi? Because in this build, you actually prioritize the Nihilus items, is what I'm told.
Hey, I'm told you actually prioritize the Nyla items, and then you just like put whatever leftovers on Yumi. Because the Nyla just like keeps the whole board alive, even at two star. At one star, she's not doing much. But it, like, it reaches this point where she like takes some damage, and then she just heals your whole team for like 2,000. It's insane. As long as your team stays together. Is this your final six? Yeah, and then you go, uh, you go Riven, actually. But, like, there's no way I have the money to hold the Riven right now. Oh, my headset's low on power. Oh. Really interesting. Okay, I'm actually gonna roll, like, twice here, because hitting one Nile is a big deal. Fuck. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to keep rolling. Okay, there we go. Just, yeah, hitting like an upgrade to make sure I get the three streak is pretty nice. Because winning this round is worth one gold for the win, and then one gold for the wolves. And it saves HP. So, I was down to like lose two gold of Econ for that. Well, I'm not even sure if I win. He's kind of strong. Oh god. Okay, unlucky. This is a Nyla 2 diff. If only I hit Nyla. Alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little fucked. I don't have Econ, and I didn't... I didn't hit all my 2 stars, so I couldn't win out here. Or win out stage 3. We fight together. Well, I gotta roll to 0 if we're, uh... For Nyla 2. <laughs> okay, so we know it's gonna be a Prismatic Augment next round. Maybe it's gonna be Think Fast. Actually, I'm not even sure if Think Fast is that great. Like, I think Windfall would actually be better, just because I have the golden ticket already. Are there people contesting your units? No, I scouted at the beginning. I should be good. Yeah, no one's really holding my units. That was actually really good. Nice. Okay. I'm going to just do Shoujin Yumi. Or is it Gunblade? <sighs> it's got to be Shoujin. Wait. Everyone's saying Gunblade. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean doubting myself. <laughs> Wait. You got me paranoid. I feel like it's it's got to be Shoujin, right? All right, this Viego just like one shot my whole team. I'm thinking we already have enough healing. I guess we can see what our augment is. This sucks. If this was Battle Mage, it'd be so much better. I think it's just Woodland Charm. Have another three star unit. I don't think Stan United is that great here. All right. I guess we just play another three-star unit. Okay, I'm pretty sure you just roll it here and just try to hit. Hmm. It's pretty unlikely. I think you just donkey roll it. Okay, I'm gonna trust my judgment. I think it's Trojan. I don't think we need more healing. I think the Nyla will provide all of it. But yeah, this is this is definitely very rough. Come on, Yumi. Snipe the Samira. One more time. Wait, I think I actually win. <laughs> what the heck? I actually beat this Radiant Declaw set. Oh, right, maybe not. Oh, it's really close. Okay, not bad.
Okay, I'm pretty sure you just donkey roll. Because we're so close to, like, so many upgrades here. Nice. Got the most important one. I can probably rest now. So now it's probably just JG. I'm like kind of unhappy about how the augments went down. I feel like I'm playing like two prismatic augments down. I think the wooden charm is like half value. Like other people got like a full prismatic value. I got half. And I also feel that way about Verdant Veil. Because like, yeah, it's nice that your, your team is clumped and now they're not getting stunned. But like, I feel like it was fine that we were getting stunned, right? Because you take damage and then you just like gain mana and you cast anyway. You don't need to have a constant flow of auto attacks. I guess it does kind of synergize with my Shoujin though. Does Wooden Charm give you supers here? Uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I think we checked earlier. I still lost. It's all good. I hit Rel here. Oh god. Imagine if the glove that I want is on a uh, Rel. Oh, there's a Nyla on Carousel with a chain, but... Oh, there's a Rel with a, a rod. No, it's always it's always got to be Glove here. When is Woodland Charm ever best? Uh, I don't think it's ever best. I think it's usually just, like, pretty good. It's a very safe augment, especially if you take it early. I would be happy if I got Woodland Charm early, because it's like, oh, hey, you got, like, a two-star Riven early. Now you have two two-star Rivens, and you can snowball with it. But, like, right now, like, I don't think I need another least in three. I don't think he does. I don't think it does as much as like something else would. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're just donkey rolling it, right? I gotta win out here. Like I gotta like win out for the rest of the game. I'm really sad that I had to sell all the Nylas. I'm really sad I had to solve all the Nylas. Like, if I was doing a little bit better health-wise, I could have, like, not rolled so urgently. 100% chance to win, holy shit. I could have not rolled so urgently and then, like, got to keep the Nylas and then eventually get Nyla 3. But, like, I think in this game, I'm too low. I just have to settle for this. Because if I didn't hit all these three stars right now, the game's over. You probably just, like, hit this rel and then that's it. Go 7, go 8, just put in synergies. Is Yumi's second row for redemption value? It's also to uh, be in the Nyla heal. The point of this comp is that you just like have everything around the Nyla, and the Nyla gets like the biggest heals of her life. She only cast once this round, and she healed 2300, and it's a two star. Oh, Annie Bolt. Okay, I don't think I roll here. I think I'm actually fine. Okay, triple prismatics games are always like super wild though. I, I can't really tell who's high rolling, who's low rolling. I mean, this guy looks really strong. Golden Ticket, Recon Crown, Windfall. Like, Windfall, I said earlier, if I got Windfall, i just win the game. This guy got exactly that. He got Golden Ticket, Windfall. So, uh, <laughs> it's rough. Because uh, once you get Golden Ticket, every single piece of gold you get, in terms of a reroll comp, is doubled. So that guy just got 90 gold as an augment. Windfall uh, level up's also insane. Oh god, this Zed's on my Yumi. Oh, is this double least in 3 diff? Oh my god. Giga Chad Malphite, let's go. Okay, I go 7, I put in a Riven. Dude, I got so scared when that when he killed my Yumi. Okay, it's probably a lot, uh, because I didn't hit three star Nyla. The correct play here is probably the correct play here is probably uh, Yumi item. I mean, if I get exactly Titans though, I'll play it. Titans is the best last item for Nyla. It's insane. Hello, Andrew. Oh, Guardbreaker here is huge. Guardbreaker or Hodge? Oh, really? Wait, that's fucked. Like, all three of these are bad. QSS is literally useless. And then Infinity Edge, JG are all useless as well because I already have uh, I already have a JG. 
I think you just go double JG and then you just say at Mortdog Smadge. That sucks. There was so many good items I could have gotten there. And I managed to get a thing, uh, an armory where all three of them were bad. Why is IE useless? Because IE and JG, this set have been changed to be the exact same item. Except one gives you AD, one gives you AP. It's like, I, I, I don't need it. Wait, did I win this? Oh my god, I actually almost did. I was like, if I had one slightly better item, I would have won this. Fuck. That's so sad. I actually almost won that. Okay, I just roll here. Grab a ribbon as well if you find one. Dude, literally, if I just got one playable item. A tier for Hodge, a belt for GS, or uh, a belt for Guardbreaker. Or just um, a glove. Like, there's only eight different components. How did I get three of them that were not playable when three of them, any three of the eight would have been like totally fine? That's actually such a low roll. A TG for this rel three would have been crazy. A Hodge would have been nuts. A guard break would have been nuts. And I'm sitting here double JG. Doesn't double JG mean 100% crit? I mean, it's 95. Like, it's playable. It's just really bad. It's like the worst item I could possibly have gotten that I would still slam. And considering there was like seven items I could have gotten, this is like really unlucky. All right, well, I mean, I hit my board. Let's see how good it is now. Maybe if I really high roll, I get Nyla three. Oh god, hang in there. Hang in there, Yumi. Wait, I might actually get top four. <laughs> Holy shit, the whole world is one HP here. Do I have a spark? I do. I. Uh, what do I even want here? Chalice, maybe? Maybe heart spat? Probably like heart on Malphite. And then you can replace Raven with a Soraka. So I, I probably rolled to zero here, like we're all one one HP. Wait. Oh, why is it copying the rel now? Oh, oh, because she has slightly more HP. Please be on the left side. Please have your carry on the left. No, his carry's on the right. Uh-oh. I mean, I wonder if my board wins the front to back. If I lose by one unit, I think I still live. Okay, Yumi's just kind of snapping him off. Now here's the death of Ezreal, and then the death of Aesol. Am I alive? Oh, barely. Holy shit. This guy's the insane high roller, so thank god I got through that matchup alive. If I survive this round, I might actually be able to hit Nyla 3. Okay, I need to have someone in the back.
like that. Like just against uh, Zed. Oh god, it's the it's such this is such a bad matchup for me. Viego is just gonna ult my whole team. I pray that Nyla keeps the whole team. Okay, Nyla just got one shot. I think I'm fucked. Bad matchup. Unlucky. <sighs> oh my god. A sixth place by one HP and a four. I could have gotten fourth if I just survived. It's just really sad. That's like the one matchup I can't win. Fuck, dude. I mean, it was probably doomed to like never be better than a fourth, but it definitely could have been fourth. If I didn't get griefed on that last item armory and got one playable item on my Yumi, I would save enough HP to at least be fourth there. How did you go six with 103 stars? Because I got insanely bad items and I got insanely bad augments. It was a triple prismatic game and I was playing two prismatic augments down. I think if you play even one prismatic augment down, you're probably going eighth place. And I was playing two. Like the value of what I had compared to what I could have had is just like insane. Imagine I had windfall, like the other guy who got golden ticket. If I got windfall, I'm not even kidding. That's literally instantly on the spot. Everything is three starred. It's better than think fast when you have golden ticket. Windfall gives you 45 gold, which is normally an okay prismatic augment. But when you have golden ticket, which doubles the value of all of your rolling gold, it is 90 gold for a prismatic augment. Literally, it's better than think fast. Woodland charm is like not useful at all there. If I got like battle mage three, it would have been okay. Britain Vale, not useful. Like, you could argue like, oh, but your team is up front getting CC. Like, it doesn't matter. My, my team doesn't need to attack. They just need to take damage and then cast. I'm playing two Prismatic Augments down. I'm extremely mad. Because that build actually would have been totally fine. If it was a one Prismatic Augment game, we'd probably get first place there. How tilted are you? I'm very tilted. I just got, I got Mort dogged. I lost the Prismatic Lottery. I am incredibly frustrated. I think like losing to augment RNG is like the the biggest source of frustration in TFT. Like if I'm too slow and I lose because like I failed a roll down or I didn't scout, like that's on me. I'll, I'll take the blame for the loss. But if I lose because I just got three bad hero augments or I got three bad prismatic augments, like it's out of my control. I lose LP and I feel like I just wasted my time. Very infuriating. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Man, if only I won that chain vest. I lost the APM check. Oh my god. Now I'm just sitting here really sad that I didn't uh, get the chain vest. I'd be in such a good spot. Well, I could have made 10, actually, if I was down to give up my monkey. I think you just keep these units, though. It's a good source of direction. Why do you always start with Chain Vest? I always like Chain Vest because Sunfire and Bramble are my two favorite slims in the game right now. And I think Titans is pretty good. Hello, Night Moon XD. Consistent. Oh, wait, hang on. These are all actually really good. I, th I think it's Sure Shot Heart. And then I say, like. Oh, wait, but that would actually be uh, three Sure Shots. It might be Consistency. I actually think I can win streak. I actually. If I go consistency and I five streak, I win the game. If I go sure shot heart, it's a solid. 
Hmm. I'm gonna go consistency. I think I can make it work. Okay, so consistency is a massive gamble. If I get the five streak, I win the game. If I don't get the five streak, I'm playing down an augment. But I think that my board is good enough to do it. I have good front line, good back line, and I have one of the better early game slams. Sunfire is probably better, but... Oh, wait. Uh, probably supposed to keep laser core, actually. I tell level to five here. Box box, I think the sure shot was so good already. The problem with the sure shot heart there is that I would be at three sure shots right there, and that's bad. It would be really good because I can get a four sure shot spike as soon as I hit Samira. But if you're taking an augment to say, hey, I'm gonna make this augment have value once I hit Samira, like that's an augment that's dead for half the game. It's not worth it. I'm pretty sure I could not 5 shoot with that, but I can 5 shoot with this. You want the Nyla? No, I'm pretty sure it's a sure shot game. Or it's just a flexible backline. Play whatever you want. It's a Zeke slam. You can play anything. Sucks that I can't make 10 here. I could if I saw the Draven, but... I think I'd rather just make sure I win. Does anybody have a stronger board than me? This guy's kind of strong. Two-star Blitz, Ash. If he had Laser Core, I might actually lose. I should be in a good spot. I have, I have a very solid mix of frontline, backline. Wait, did I lose this? Uh-oh. Wait, what? What? My Draven just barely didn't execute them. Wait, holy shit. It was literally like one auto from Draven to win the round. Are you serious? Okay. I, I lose the game. It's time to forfeit. I gambled it all and I lost. I thought my board was sick. It was not sick enough. Positioning diff? I guarantee it was not a positioning diff. Like, the only other position I could have done here was this. And I'm pretty sure that's worse. Your Senna just like misses all of our ults. Alright, it's fucked. The game is over. I think I no longer have an urge to play this game out. We should just forfeit on 3-1. On I'm already tilted out of my mind. I cannot believe I lost that by one auto. Box box, if your range units were opposite corners, you'd do better. If you do this and throw your Zeeks, you're literally trolling. I don't know what else to say, dude. If you think that that is correct, I don't know what to say. If you think that splitting up, losing Zeke's value, and having your carries target different enemies, and not like killing one at a time quickly, I have no idea what to say. You are beyond hope.
All right. We either go for three recon here, or we go for two sure shots. We should wait and see which one we get. How many players are going recon this game? This guy is definitely going it. Okay, in that case. Who did the most damage? Sunny did the lowest damage, but I also, I also know I need her. Okay, this might be my strongest board. Please at least let me get a two streak. This guy has a Sejuani. He went Brawler Heart and got a level 5 Sejuani. Oh my god, I lost by two auto attacks. I lost because he got overtime Sejuani ult. Oh god, just kill me now, dude. I faced a guy who forced brawlers and hit a level 5 Sejuani and won the game instantly. Goodbye, consistency. Why don't you lose streak? I mean, I do lose streak. I do lose streak with consistency. Just not this game because I had a really strong opener. What happened on this round was insane. What happened on this round was insane. It's fucked. Like, I think my opener probably five streaks that like 85% of the time. Like some very high percentage. Like it would take a massive high roller to beat me. And not only would it take a massive high roller to beat me, they'd have to fight me at the right time before I spike. Like I had a two star level five with insane synergies early game and a very strong item slam. It would take someone who also went level five and slammed a bunch of got a bunch of two stars to beat me, and that is actually exactly what happened. These items are unplayable. I mean, maybe I go Shojin MF. Maybe that's the angle. My two choices are to just continue taking up the ass or try for a streak again. Which comes at its own risk of like, if you fail again, the game is even more over than it was before. You can probably still play for a fourth place right now. I'm down to just ride the streak out. Try to ride out all the way and get good losses. At least you get some money. Unless I get something crazy here. If you didn't have consistency, you would definitely level up here and just like try to hit something decent. Oh, is it endless pizza? I actually got like the two best augments for what I currently want. Um, let me take a look at the win rates. Corpse formation is 4.39 average. Endless pizza is 4.5. I mean, off of the average placement alone, the corpse formation is better. Uh, yeah, and this pizza got nerfed quite hard. All right, I'm down. I'm down to believe in, in the stats. Mm. I should roll a tiny amount. I should roll a tiny amount just because there's a, I have a lot of pairs. I think we just try to play four sure shots here and then put uh, Zeke's on Senna. But also, we got to make sure we don't win, so don't roll too hard.
Okay, and then we'll lean towards defenders because set is pretty good here. This might win. Okay, I'll just play this. It should be weak enough to like... I, will not die dishonored. I should be losing here. We want to try to manipulate so we get really close fights. There is some semblance of frontline backline here, but it's not very strong. Uh, let's think about the items. So, we're going to play four sure shots. Okay. And then... I think... Because you have four sure shots and that gives you a lot of natural damage, you should go for tank items here. So I'm down for like BT Redemption set. Oh, can we kill one more? No. Okay, set on carousel with a belt. Or Samira on carousel with a glove or bow. Oh wait, I'm third pick. Okay. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll take the one gold belt. Down for the bow, down for the... Okay, uh, let's do the tank items first. Maybe it was declaw, but they did nerf it quite hard. I'm down for this because it creates a full set of items. You, you could just slam BT Redemption right now. Ooh. I don't know if I would take this Senna too. Let's try to look at our matchups. I might accidentally win. Let me, let me think about this. Down to like self nerf a little bit. Yeah, I'm down to like not go not go corpse formation. And try to manipulate this. So, this guy's kind of weak, but hopefully because I didn't get Zeke's or core formation, hopefully we just like barely lose this. It's worth a lot of money to lose this. It's worth like five gold. And then the next round's worth like six gold. Did I do it? Oh, fuck. No, my son is too strong. I was a fool. Fuck. I should have griefed it harder. If I did the same thing without taking the upgrade, I probably would have been fine. I tried to ride that thin line of like barely losing, and it was just a bit too strong. Alright, now you just try to win. If you go three loss streak into two wins, uh, into two wins, it's pretty decent. It'd be very sad if I lost this round. If I if I win, it's it's kind of fine. Yeah, this is really sad. I guess that's that's on me for taking the upgrade, huh? Just lost twenty gold. Hello, the real Diego. We can actually do the math and find out how much gold we lost. So I lost 4 gold here, 6 gold here, 6 gold here. So 16 gold because I accidentally won a round. Why did you not forfeit? Because I think if I play really well I can still get 4th. I, I do want to forfeit, don't get me wrong. Like the moment the consistency fails, like I feel like there's almost no point to playing the game. But the truth of the matter is you can salvage a 4th here. Or, I mean, like, who knows? You could just hit a Felix at 7, right? And you could actually get first. But, like, I'm already in a very miserable position. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go seven, and then... Uh, it's kind of bad, though. You, you can't even really spike at seven. You're too soft for this. Oh, actually, pretty good items. Okay, wait, so... It's a gun blade, or... I see a Val. Hmm. How do I want to do this? It's just business. Okay, definitely slamming the Val. Good way to kill off the tier. And then, I kind of want to do Gunblade, but I also kind of want to do BT. You could do JG on Senna, and it's like not the worst thing ever. Do Shojin send it? No, that's really bad. Alright, I'm just gonna level up to 8. Mm. Fuck, I probably can't even level up to 8. If I had my lost trick, I could. Hello, Zokular. I guess let's just see what our augment is. Good loss. It's probably a Celestial Blessing. Someone's about to get hurt. Okay. I think I sack two. It's gonna really suck, but I think the correct place to sack two here. Okay, I'm gonna just I'm like Okay, I'm just gonna slam this. Save HP. It's rough. And then this can turn into a Morello's, this can turn into a Declaw or BT later. Sack two, level up to eight. Oh, it's so sad. Cause if I if I kept my lost streak, I'd be up like 30 gold here. Why does no one build Gargoyle anymore? Uh, the numbers on it are just very low. Oh, this is really sad. I just faced a guy who rolled to zero. This guy just like did everything he could to spike. I just got owned for it. I mean, maybe it leads to me getting a Leona on Carousel. Down to play a Leona. Oh, I just realized BT is definitely not that good here. BT is not very good here because I already have CB. We should just rush for Four sure shots, and then just like any tank items. All right, Leona or set on carousel. Okay, there is a massive spike when I hit one of Philios. So like, you can't guarantee that you hit it, but like, holy shit, I really hope I hit it. Cause if you hit Samira one, it's not even better than what I currently have. If I hit Samira two, it's a reasonable spike, but the real spike is Samira one of Philios one. That's when I get four sure shots in. And then like, you don't even need items at that point. You just do so much damage. So like, a Philios on Carousel is actually probably the high roll here. None. I wonder if it's ever the Samira, but probably not. Oh wait. It's Declaw. I had, I had some trouble deciding there. I was like, I kind of want Gunblade. Damn it. No Leona, Set, or Aphelios on Carousel. That's pretty unlucky. There was like a 1 in 4 chance of Leona on Carousel, and I think a 1 in 6 chance of a set on carousel. Oh, also there's a 1 in 4 chance of a Philios. Alright, come on. If only the weather was good. Come on, Albert, just hit. Just hit. You got this.
was a little slow on that roll down. Uh, I need a Jax. Jax over Riven. Is there any chance I win this? Probably not, but a one unit loss is actually not bad here. Okay, I should try my absolute hardest to get a one unit loss again. So I can be two lives and also get the sweet, sweet loose streak money. It's probably not four aces, but I'll hold it for a second and roll. Oh. This might be too strong. Ho hopefully this still loses by a little bit. Okay, the perfect loss here is a one unit loss. I mean, I'm down for a two unit loss. Like, as long as I still have two lives. Wait, I'm kind of getting owned. This Sejuani is like unkillable. Oh, please kill the Sejuani. So, kill the Sej and Lee Sin. Damn, a three unit loss. Do I still have two lives? Okay. It's like two lives ish. Okay, so. Let's try to figure out what's going to happen here. You probably sell. I need to like one Leona. One Leona and then two sets. Because that would be. um, That's Mecha Prime, Aegis, Ox Force, for sure shots. And I guess we just roll to zero here. Try to rebuild the Senna as well, move items to whatever a two star. I need to hit a two star set at least. I mean, there's actually a world where instead of two star set, I just play like a bunch of random frontline units. That also, I'm also down. So I'll hold all like the Zax and Sedges. Gwinsu's, Guardbreaker, Guardbreaker. Uh, Morello's. Oh, it's probably Morello's ZZ Rot. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, I skip tracks. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta keep rolling. Uh, I need to put the Morellos on somebody. I just slammed items really quickly. Not a bad loss, actually. But, I mean, I'm still at one life now. Alright, come on, Albert. The mecha set didn't work out, so you just play a bunch of random front line. Let's see what we can hit here. And then, yeah, it should have been Morellos on Sejuani. That's my bad. I didn't have time to think about it. Uh, I need a replacement of Philios. I hope I'm not just dead. I need a replacement of Philios and move the IE to Samira. Man, if only I hit the Samira earlier, then I, I would have known to not uh, keep it on Samira. Okay. This board's like okay. I don't think I'm gonna win out. Maybe I get sixth. The CB is pretty nice. Gives my sure shots healing. Uh, I wonder if I can ever play Urgot in here, but I'm thinking I'm too squishy. 
Let's just roll for like two star echo. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna lose because this guy, his three star Ramus, is going to jump straight into my clump. Uh oh. Goodbye, world. Man, that was a really sad game. Holy shit. I lost because of the saddest failed consistency win streak. I mean, like, I know when I take the augment, it's a gamble, but holy shit, was that unlucky. From my spot of choosing to take consistency, I probably had like an, yeah, I said it earlier, I probably had like an 85% chance of five streaking that. It would take an insane high roller to not only high roll, but also face me when I'm weak. And then they also had to high roll the fight RNG. I lost two fights in stage two, and both of them were like, dude, if I had, if I hit literally one more upgrade, or if I just didn't face them on that round, I would have been fine. And one of them was literally two autos off. It was like, if I got slightly, if I got one more RNG crit, I would have won. Holy shit, dude. I'm so upset. And then that one round where I hit Senna two, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty weak. Like, let me, let me self nerf myself, lose my augment value to make sure I keep my loose streak. And I barely won. I like faced the weakest player. One out of three, and he was giga weak. And I high rolled fight RNG, which is actually a massive low roll. I lost like 30 gold because of that. Imagine if I had that same board, but like 30 more gold. Probably could have went nine. God, I'm frustrated. Holy shit. How is your booba tea? Right, it's just a coffee. It is, it is an oat milk latte. Alright, I'll play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. I have a crazy idea. I've been very angry today. I think I've got I've bought for it every single game. Oh wait, I got a random first place. Oh right, I got the ribbon first place. But yeah, aside from that, it's been bought for city. I have decided to just hit. I'm gonna just like play assuming that I'm gonna hit and then I'm gonna just hit. Who is the girl in the yo emote? I need to find out. Hello, sign up to. Hannah Owo. All right, let me Google that in an incognito tab. Hannah Owo OnlyFans. Interesting, that was the first link. Twenty-year-old Twitch partner. Wait, she's a streamer.
every day I wish I started with a chain. I want to hold this by for underground odds, sell these guys if I have to. Alright, items that are good here. Rod, chain, glove, money. Uh, okay, I have to slam hurricane, it's not terrible. CB would have been good if I had Renegade items, but I do not have Renegade items. It's either makeshift armor or a reroll. I'm down to do makeshift. The game's not playable. Holy shit, the game is not playable, dude. You hold everything and you hit zero two stars. The game is fucked. You can't make 10 because you have to hold a million pairs to see if you hit. And then if you don't hit like three two stars in the next shop, you just lose the game. All right, I'm down. We already know we have to slam this. Okay, so whatever we build has to be some sort of like AD with Hurricane. Can be duelists. Can be sure shots. Could even just be like a Belva. Okay, a two star. Kind of a questionable level up here. Because a lot of the matchups I still lose. This lets me beat like three of the six players left. All right, please, I beg of you, a two-star Kale. I mean, it's something. Uh, how am I gonna play it? Am I gonna just level to five for it? Oh, we've been thinking too small this whole time. Obviously, the answer is Hurricane Galio. Is this me or is it actually kind of working? I actually think I win this. Oh, wait. Oh, please hit my Blitzcrank first. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Does Blitzcrank win this? Oh my god, he's so tanky. My god. What the hell just happened? How the hell did I win that? Makeshift Blitzcrank 2 in overtime. Actually just punched, the, punched her face in. Alright, let's get a Sunfire Cape here, I'm so tanky. Wait, really? Sunfire kit for me? 
Nice. And if I get a Sivir next shop, I, I just win the game, I'm pretty sure. Damn, no Sivir. Okay, I'm not gonna item remove. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it item remove. Let me just do this. And then level. What's the admin? Oh, these all suck. Please be on the right side. Oh, no. Okay, this is really bad. I didn't have time to think because of the admin, and my Nyla is not in the right spot. Okay, it works out anyway. This Galio is surprisingly Chad. How did you know you would get the armor instead of the bow? Uh, you always get the higher cost. This guy was actually kind of insane. Oh my god! The game's over. The game's over. I said I was going to just hit this game, and I just hit. I don't know how the hell I'm 5 streaking. Alright, there's someone with a hook. Oh, I might have already faced the hook. Yeah, I already faced the hook. Are you gonna remove the hurricane? Nope! Uh, Galio deserves it, in my opinion. Don't you agree? No, actually, though. I. Uh, I mean, you don't really care about makeshift armor on Senna, but like, down to keep my items together for now. My God, Donger J, just hit an ace all, dude. Wait, I just I just level to six and throw this bad boy in, and then I have AD. I've got AP. I've got Giga Chad Chicken. And then I throw an Alistar for a uh, mascot Aegis. Holy shit. This is a pog, I was here pog kind of game. How do you know when you should grief makeshift value? When the value of the items you could slam is worth more than 45 armor magic resist. So usually two items. If I can slam two items on a tank, I'd probably play it over makeshift. But in general, you should go for all AD items with makeshift armor. So getting this is kind of unlucky. Like, I think it's fine to get, like, one. One fully itemized tank. And then everything else just be, all, like, all AD. And the reason I say all AD is just because, um... The reason I say all AD is because... Or all damage is because, uh... Your frontline already all gets, like, a gargoyle stone plate for free. So if you, like, had zero frontline items and all defensive items, or all AD items in the back, you would have, like seven full items in the back, and then you'd have like five full items worth of defense in the front. But like once you start slamming on the front line, you start removing that uh, free makeshift value. Oh yeah, I gotta watch out for that Blitzcrank, huh? I could face him now. I mean, if one of my three carries gets grabbed, I'm probably fine anyway. Acel value is not that high here because I have a Sunfire. Probably need to sell him. Oh, wait, did I lose this? Oh, he's got a two-star Ramus. Uh-oh. Wait, I, I lose. Madge. But not only do I lose, it wasn't even close. What the heck? I got rolled. Senna Hirogman, please. Oh. Ah. Uh, I know what this needs to be. And I've already rolled down my board is a little stable. Well, not rolled, but I've already like stabilized my board. I'm down for rich get richer here and you just chill for like like literally like five rounds. I'm down. Okay, so there's two ways that you can look at um our current situation.
wonder if I'd ever play Cho'Gath over Aesol. Probably not yet. Okay, so there's two ways you could look at this. The first way is you could say, uh, you should get D claw so that you finish your full tanks, your full tank items. The other way you could look at it is you're probably going to hit something like that anyway soon. You're probably going to hit something along those lines anyway, whether it's a D claw or a BT or a gargoyle, and you could just start going for offensive items right now, because offensive items when you have makeshift are a way higher value. So since I'm going to lose streak here, I'm down to just like get the offensive item. What is the dankest emote? Oh, buddy, I have a really sick emote to show you. I've been keeping this one hidden in the books. This emote is like, uh, it's, it's Sleeper. Sleeper as in like, nobody knows it's cool. Not until I show you guys. Are you guys ready? Hello, Lupxt. Why are you guys pause champing? I already showed you the emote. Why aren't you pogging? Oh, wait, did I win this? Does Hurricane Galley actually win? Alright. Guys, I feel like I've been falling asleep. This music is too mm -hmm, calming. That's why... It's time to... Wake up. I'm a little weak. Is it worth it, guys? Is this worth the pain and the suffering? I'm gonna take it up the ass, go down to 40 health, and then I'll have a million dollars. Would you take it up the ass for a million dollars? Actually, you probably would. I would too, honestly. I'd probably do almost anything for a million dollars. I would even spin counterclockwise. If a million dollars was offered to me. I'm sorry that you guys have to find out I'm a dirty sellout. Am I the one paying? Yes, you're the one paying the million dollars. To take up the ass. Ooh. Okay, I mean, when... We all know what this game is, right? It's just, it's just the meta build of the previous set. Or previous patch. We are just playing... Mecha set, Samira 2, sure shots. Four sure shots if you can, but down for like two with a lot of front line. So let me like pre-think this. So I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna roll for set, Samira, all legendaries. Uh, stuff like a Belveth 2 is pretty good. Zac 2 is good. Uh, grab all the Mecha Primes. Wait, am I gonna win this? I have 80 gold. There's no way I win this, right? If I can lose by one unit, I will pog. Be the Da Vinci of TFT and go for something in pog. I mean, what do you want me to do? I have a last whisper. I have sure shots. What do you want me to go for that's actually playable? Okay, I didn't kill a single unit. This guy literally 6 0 me.
Okay. We're probably selling the Galios and the Ace Souls. Doesn't Mecha seem bad with makeshift? That's a little bad, but whatever. I could just like go uh, a bunch of random frontline units. If that's what I hit. Oh, 10 gold's pretty unlucky. Is it Gunblade? No, it's probably Giant Slayer. Actually. I'm not I'm not decided yet. Could also be a Rage Blade. Alright, let's level up to 8 and roll it down. Just sell the Galios now, don't even think about that. I gotta do a fat roll down here. Oh god, it took so much damage. But it, it leads to like a huge level 8 roll down, so I hope it's worth. Pick my augment quickly. Just something good for set. Oh fuck. Oh, these are all really bad. Core formation. Oh, evasion. I hit the one stars. Now I gotta hit the two stars. Hopefully I can still be at two lives. Fuck, my front line's so bad. Am I still at two lives? Okay, it's still two lives. Come on, Albert. You gotta hit like five two stars here or it's fucked. My synergies are actually pretty nice. I don't think we go four aces here. On. Set or Aphelios on Carousel, please. Oh yeah, I gotta swap the Aphelios gun now. Purple gun got, got massively nerfed. God damn it, dude. Am I dead? Oh. Alright, this is where I hit Aphelios on Carousel with a glove and I went out. Oh! I mean, it's it's playable. RFC Aphelios too. Okay, I gotta swap my gun. Just hit Samira and set.
Okay, so I just faced the hook guy. Just face the hook guy, should be good. Alright, can we win out from here? Pause champ. Uh, hopefully Aphelios keeps this set alive. My makeshift armor is a little shot here. But it's fine, my comp is pretty set now. <laughs> pretty set. It's just mirror. These fights kind of close. Really need that set too. I feel like I hit, and I'm still getting kind of owned. It's too late now, but the answer might have been to like not go for sure shots. Just go two with a lot of front line. Yeah, it's definitely too late now. I have two star ultra shots. But man, is this like a really painfully awkward front line? Blue gun is better. I would believe it if I had like more offensive items. My items are like not that damagey right now. It's just like attack speed, and you're just kind of like sitting here waiting for sure shots to scale up. So just like. Just kill the front line and then let the next ult kill the back line. This game is going to be very interesting. Assuming I hit the set two, this could go anywhere from eighth place to first. Like, I, I could win out or I could get unlucky one time and die. But yeah, like, I didn't have the money to hold on to them, but like, a two star Sedge, two star Zach, two star Echo. If I could replace my Sivir and Senna with that, I'd be in a good spot. I'm probably still rolling just because of set. Massively spikes me here. Do you still have remover? I mean, do you still want to use the remover for Aphelios? No, it's always a set item here. Isn't your mech kind of griefing your makeshift? It is completely griefing it, but I don't know what else to do here. Like, I didn't hit the two stars of the, the tanks, so I can't really make use of it. This is definitely better than just having like one star... Um, one star Sedge, one star Echo. Alright, this has to be a set item. Declaw, Bramble, BT. Uh, it's just Declaw. This was just nerfed, but it should be fine. Alright. I need to roll to zero until I hit this. If I don't hit set, the game's over. Wow. Uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be really close. I I don't remember who the hook guy was. I have to go find him again. But I positioned my failure safely just in case. I hope I don't lose because my Aphelios is going to get hit first here. Oh wait, no. I'm going to lose just because I'm weaker. Because I didn't hit set 2. Oh, that's really sad. It wasn't even close. Man, that's like incredibly depressing. Holy shit. I rich get Richard because my mid game was so bad. I could at least make money. And then I roll it all down at level 8. And then I got an Aphelios 2. But I didn't get a set. And then I couldn't play the game because I didn't have a front line. I had two Echoes, two Sejuanis, two sets, two Zacks. And I just had to sell them. Like, holy shit, it's so sad. My board would have been so sick if it was just that Aphelios 2, Samira 2, and then a bunch of like frontline tanks. Also, my Aphelios like did no damage. It's because uh It's because I didn't get the glove. Like I took the Aphelios on Carousel and I made an RFC which was like a playable item, but it wasn't very good. He definitely like was too weak. He needed a last whisper. But like, you would think once I hit like for sure shot Aphelios 2, the legendary, 
Like, you would think that the game just, like, turns around right there, but he was, like, pretty weak. He was getting out damaged by Samira, too. And those, like, post nerf Samira, too. Oh, round it. Yeah, that was a really frustrating game. I, I, I risked it all for the roll down, and I didn't hit. That's okay, this is where the winning streak starts. Uh, I definitely don't think this is where the winning streak starts. It's definitely a bad idea for me to play right now. I'm on like a mega tilt uh, streak right here. I am definitely going into every game with like a very bad mindset because I'm frustrated from previous games, which leads to like more mistakes, which leads to like more tilt. The best move is just like stop playing, take a break, try again tomorrow. Actually, I can't try again tomorrow. I have the Pokemon tournament. So let's try again Monday. Hello, Schmeik. Who will stream the Pokemon tournament? Uh, it's going to be on Wolfie's channel. Uh, I think it streams on YouTube. Wolfie VGC. What is your favorite Chinese food? Oh, it's got to be white rice with soy sauce. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, daddy. Put it inside of my mouth. White rice, soy sauce, and that's it. It's so unhealthy. And I'm pretty sure it has like zero nutritional value, but I love the taste. Like, uh, have you ever had, what is it? It's like egg, spam, soy sauce, and rice. Oh my god. If it were, like, somewhat nutritious, I'd probably eat that meal every single day of my life. Dude, what is with zero chains? The last four games. You think it's a coincidence? I bought four at every single game, and there are zero chains. And every single one of them, I was like, dude, if I got chained instead, I would have won the game. Every single one of those games I bought forward, after this first creep round, I was like, dude, if I had a chain, I'd be in such a good spot. How are we just like getting lobbies with no chain? The odds of that happening is like 1 in 10 each time. Alright, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Listen, here's the plan. I've been very angry lately. It's definitely not a good idea for me to keep playing. I'm gonna get a Pog. I was here Pog. Woke first place game. And then I'm gonna end my stream. Because I think playing while tilted is a really bad idea. Okay. Okay, I'm going to see you guys after the ad break. I'll take my time. Yeah, I'll take Flaming Ricochet, the Gangplank Carry Augment. If I had a Chain Vest, man. Oh. Hello, Gripium. Okay, well, it's definitely not Triforce. It's also definitely not Exiles, and it's probably not Thrill. Alright, it's a reroll. Oh! Well, now I just have to, right? Am I contested? I will 
Duelist cock. I have an idea. So, duelists tend to lose early game, right? Belt diff. Duelists tend to lose early, and then you win out in the mid game really hard. And then you lose late game. And the goal is like just bleed out slower than other players. So I had a crazy idea. An absolutely ridiculous idea. So, what if I just went six? Oh my god! <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, what if I just went six duelists on two five? And then I just went out from there. They call me Mr. 98. Hello, Righteous Fury. Yeah, what if I just went out right there? So let's go ahead and grab something that works with what I have right now. So something like Infinity Edge Gangplank. This guy has just one Vi. Oh my god, this reminds me of the Piper Pierre meme. What if you belted your GP? Then I would be throwing the game because Zeke's is incredibly useless on duelists. Builds that have a lot of attack speed do not need more attack speed. Builds that have a lot of damage, you don't need more damage. It's always the other way around. It's like, you have a lot of attack speed, you should prioritize damage. Sure Shots actually like Zeke's, because they get so much damage. Oh, my god. Duelist Monkey. Who is Piper Pierre? Uh, I don't know. Oh, actually, uh, I've, I've just heard her name. Annie tells me a lot about her. I, I don't actually know her. Maybe she goes to another high school. Oh, Nodders. Pre-level. Alright, hear me out. Hear me out. I call this Z at 5 no jutsu. Z at 5 no jutsu. Actually, a Ribbon is really good as well. If I could just play four Duelists, two Defender. So they actually just nerfed four Duelists. Uh, they nerfed it by like 10%, and they nerfed six Duelists by like 5%. So like, if you can make it to six, it's fine. And I think eight is the same. Hello, Hellcaster. Hello, uh, Work Inc. Thanks for 15 months. So for item here, uh, Deathblade is good. Oh, it's on a vein. Uh, Infinity Edge is good. Guardbreaker, oh, uh, yeah, Guardbreaker is fine. I think Sunfire is, like, playable. Let me think. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get something I want. I probably want the Vein. Okay, definitely taking the Vein. A literal psychopath would level up to six right here with zero gold remaining. I don't think I need to do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that I still win this. Oh wait. I played the wrong board actually. I was supposed to play Poppy over Vayne and put Deathblade on uh, Kale or something. Oh, Deathblade on Gangplank, I guess. When is the PBE new season? Are you border set 8 already? <laughs> we, don't, we haven't even hit the mid set. You ready to move on already? I feel like people say that a lot. They play like a set for like two weeks and they're just like, yeah, next set, please.
Vanya. Okay, is there anybody who beats me? Ooh, Rel 2. I might lose to Rel 2. I would not lose if I leveled, but it's... I, I lose a lot of money. I lose a lot of money. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a really secret trick, okay? So I lose to this guy, right? That's pretty scary. But what if I just don't face her? I'm facing her. Slam a belt. Okay. Pray that four duels is enough. Honestly, I've got two stars. The game says I have a 95% chance. Maybe I'm fine. Wait. Am I tripping some balls? It was not close at all. Do you know all the answers to your own box box bot? No. It is updated regularly by Mr. Kenneth Young. And there are a lot of questions I don't know. Like, uh, there was a question earlier. It was like, who is the actress that stars in the video with one girl and four dudes behind her? And like, I don't know. Okay, could I get probably a glove here? There are not that many belt items that are good in Duelist. There's like Sunfire is okay. You could put on Fiora. I think Guardbreaker is the best. I need a glove real bad. Oh, a Nico. Oh, uh, I think I'm down to slam a BT. I just want to like make sure I streak. So BT seems fine. I'll just put on Fiora, it's not terrible. Okay, I should level here, because uh, I need that 6 duel spike. Okay, so I'm not going to play Ox Force here. I've trained for this. Oh wait, I'm supposed to roll. No wait, what the fuck? Am I the one roll wonder? Are you kidding me? Wait, I just hit that. I just hit a Vayne and Zed in one roll. I'm just gonna send this. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> I said I'm supposed to roll, and then in one roll I got, like, two massive upgrades. I was gonna say, like, I have Vayne pair, I've got Yasuo pair, I've got a Nico. You, sh you roll here, hit one pair, Nico the other, and then you're solid. But then I just hit. Okay. I think if you want to win-win, you need to go for three stars. I can choose to like stabilize with a Nico, which guarantees me top four, or I can choose to go for the woke three-star Vayne Zed Nyla. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Hello, is this story? Is it windfall here, and I just like have good econ and try to go for Z three? Or is it level up and I go 9 and like just forget about duelists? I'm gonna do windfall and go for Z3. I think it's more interesting. Okay. You definitely level up right here. And then just like putting in this is already a pretty big spike. Was there a hook? No, it should be good. Okay. Yeah, I'm down for windfall. You just go seven, put in a good synergy, and then you just chill. All right. Badge? What do you mean, badge? You, you think Z3 is badge? I promise you Z3 is not badge. Z3 is quite opposite of badge. First, I go eight and play eight duelists. Then, I go Z3 with my extra money. Why not level up and roll down at higher levels? I uh, literally, if your goal was to go eight and roll for Zed, you are better off taking windfall than you are to take level up. Level up is only good if you're gonna go nine. And I'm not going nine this game. I never hold back. Oh, I'm, I can get Zed Hero Augment. Does anybody beat me? Did anybody get any insane prismatic augments here? Triple load of dice. 
Oh, this guy might beat me. He has a little, he just spiked really hard. Uh oh. Yeah, that guy might kick my ass. Don't face the threat guy. Nice. Did they nerf duels again? Yep. Not by much, though. If you're uncontested, it's still playable. I probably would never play it if I was contested, though. I think it's... It's not a good enough build to justify playing it against someone else. But I will play it if I hit it early and, it's, and I can do it freely. I think if you hit it uncontested, it's still a pretty easy top four. I highly doubt you ever do better than that, though. Hello, Luno Vinx. Alright, chain, sword, bow, glove. They're all really good here. Okay, we're completely uncontested, right? Oh, this guy's playing laser core. Oh no. He's going laser core, so he he's gonna hit a Z2. That sucks. It sucks for me because I can't go Z3 anymore. I mean you could still try, it's just gonna be really hard. Wow, this six dual spike is actually kinda crazy. And I've never played defenders instead of Ox Force here. So it's kind of working out. Man, this vein 2 is just so nuts. Hello, Cloudless. Thanks for four months. Oh god, I might lose here, but I don't think there's much I can do about it. I'm never rolling here. Let's try splitting up. Play Sedge over L. I don't think it's worth it. This guy's missing a coin here. Oh, my vein won. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh my god, that was so close. Nice! Pog. Okay, this should be better. Okay, thank god I didn't fight the threat guy. That guy would have, like, kicked my ass. So it's probably just Duelist Sejuani here. Uh, I'm down to go 8, and then... How do I play 8 duelists? Oh, I don't have a Nyla yet. But yeah, 8 duelists wasn't nerfed, so it's still pretty solid here. I need a chain vest. Oh, I really need a chain vest. Holy crap. You have now reached 200 gems today. I bring swift death. Nyla? Let the heavens bear witness. What the? Okay, that was definitely like a big just hit moment. What? Oh, 
Okay. There might have been something better. But I think I cannot be so greedy here. Oh my god. Content for the weak. Holy shit. Oh! What? I've got six Zeds. I mean, I'm just rolling here, right? For vein three. I think I was supposed to hold the fiddle, actually. Oh, you know, I'm definitely trolling. Okay. I was definitely supposed to play um, drop kale, drop gangplank, and then put in fiddle plus, like, Alistar. Okay, but eight duels is woke. -ch. So, um... Let me figure out what's going on here. Okay, so we're going vein three, obviously, and we... I've got five Zeds and an eco. I think it's actually doable. Woke. Uh, I think I fucked up my items a little bit. I slammed the Morellos to try to kill off the rod and belt, but I could have killed off the rod by slamming um, a gun blade, so I think that was a, mo a misplay. But uh, Morellos is fine. Okay, I think I should stop rolling, because you can hit one Nyla, sure, but like, you're probably not hitting two veins. We just chill. Like, I think we're eventually going to lose our streak. We're going to eventually lose our streak, and it's fine. I need a guard breaker for this vein. Vein 3 gets me to live long enough for Zed 3. How's our um, Zed Contester doing? He has one so far. Oh, wait. That's not the Zed Contester. Wait, where is he? Wasn't there a guy going laser core? Was it this guy? Wait. I, I don't know where he is. <laughs> oh, do I lose this? No, no, I got Morello Sedge Diff. Morello Sedge Diff right here. Cut the Viego healing in half. We win these. Let's go! Let's go Zed 2 with one item! This 8 duels is kind of woke. -ch. I'll keep it for a while. I mean, just that I have more gold to roll for the three stars and down to keep six or eight duelists. It's definitely not as good as like Echo 2, Alistair 2, and Zoe 2, but I'm down. Okay, so a glove is like best in slot right here. Bow is pretty decent. Uh, chain is okay. I think Rod is alright. Okay. So I had the choice of uh, could do Gunblade right here with the rod, or I could do IE, or I can do Guardbreaker, and I'm pretty sure it's Guardbreaker. And the reason why it's Guardbreaker is because the belt's like hard to kill off, but the sword can turn into many different items. Dude, I want to roll so bad. I probably shouldn't. Alright, keep it in your pants, Albert. Just build up money. Uh oh, I see a Zed. All right, last second swap. Vane, come home. Come home, sweetheart. We miss you. I need you to prop me up to hit Zed 3. Is that sad? Imagine if, like, someone that you loved was like, I need you to give me support until I can find someone who actually means something to me. This vein is nothing more than a ladder, a stepping stone to Z3. This poor girl. She's putting in so much work. Well, I may as well roll down now. Down to 20. Oh. Well, I may as well roll down to 10 now. Oh, well, I might as well roll down to zero now that I'm so close. Am I addicted? 
Am I addicted to gambling? I kept on like barely missing econ thresholds. I was like, I might as well roll it down. Okay, so I could have Nikoed here, but I'm saving it for the, the, the pog. I was here pog Z3. I might be throwing the game by doing that though. Like if I don't win here and it's vein three diff, like you can fuck me in the ass. Okay, but vein two is somehow good enough, baby. All right, so now he just goes that items. Get a chain vest and then you any have damage item. Four hundred flush today. Wait, I'm really sorry, guys. When I say you can fuck me in the ass, I don't actually mean you can have sex with my butt. I when I say you can fuck me in the ass, I mean like. In a more um, figurative way. You can metaphorically. Okay, I, I, I would like to keep my anal virginity in check. Also, we didn't lose there, so it's all good. Okay, that's, that's an edge of night. And then this component probably doesn't matter. Uh, uh, it's probably just the bow in case you get like a spat later. All right, let's roll. Can I get a V in the chat? V, 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 Madge. Should I just Nico? Should I just give up on the Z3 dream? No, I'm gonna lose my streak. I don't know if this is the right choice. This guy, holy shit. Two star every legendary. God, if only I had a, a vein three. So the, the actual best play here is to um, Sell Zeds, get Vein 3, and then just move on to like 9. But the woke play is to go for both. Okay, so I believe that Vein 3 is coming home like right now. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, I'm actually down further. Madge. This is probably a little bit stronger. It's a little bit stronger because you can just like snipe kills here. Like my Zed would never get through this set, but now I can just kill the back line. My vein's a little bit weaker overall. I think it's probably fine. It's a difference of like, 30 or 40% damage, but now you get better targeting. Please do the right play. Oh, you want me to sell the, all the Zeds right now and just Nico the Vayne and go nine? That's kind of boring. That's kind of cringe. I didn't know you were cringe. Didn't know you were like that, dude. Dude, I'm literally one Zed off. But I know it's contested. I've got seven, I've got six Zeds. This guy's got three. There's still three left in the market. I could hit. Yeah, Zed on carousel. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, hitting a Z3 doesn't actually win you the game. I've lost a Z3 before. Against really strong comps, Zed just ints himself. But like, hopefully Z3, Vayne 3 will be reliable enough. Oh yeah, they buffed Z3. Pog. Oh, okay. Saving me some HP here. Alright, imagine Zed or Vayne on Carousel. Either one. Nobody say a fucking word. It's such a good item, too. Nobody say a goddamn word.
Holy shit. That's crazy. It's such a good item. You've got to be kidding me. Alright. Oh, no vein. Alright. Wanted to see if I could hit the vein first, but I mean, <laughs> I'll take this. <laughs> I cannot believe I hit this first. Box, box, please do the correct play and just sell and go not. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Sometimes it's nice to be the woke guy. Actually, with a Nico, like, it might have just been the right play to do it anyway, because you're always rolling for vein three. Wait, dude, I'm still gonna lose. <laughs> I still lose. My god! My god! The stun lock! I actually still need to hit vein 3, otherwise I, I can't win. Like, this guy just has too much CC for my Zed to play the game. Against that guy, I need vein. All right. It's all good. Yeah, it's a 36 gold unit. It's all good. I just gotta hit one vein and I win. Just, it doesn't even matter if my vein gets the assassination anymore. Just make sure he doesn't die. He does so much damage. Just don't get stun locked. Oh god. Can he 1v9? Let him cook! Let him cook! Nice. Oh, that movement speed is nice. Oh, buy the jacks and marginally thin out the pool. I might sell the Sejuani. I literally sell the Sejuani and then maybe do Hacker and give him even more Omni Vamp. You need a Lost Whisper? I mean, my item slots are full. We slammed what we had to to stay alive. All right, come on. One vein and then we can go nine. Why don't you sell Fiddle one? Are you kidding me? Fiddle's like the best unit in the game right now. Any unit that's just like guaranteed AOE CC is amazing. All right, come on. Vein. 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 Oh, gang fight two. Sheesh. Oh shit. These are all useless. Okay, the Zanyas would have been good on my Zed. I guess it's just rocket grab. Madge. Yeah, like, I, my, both of my carries are already full. Like, the Zanyas would have been so good on my Zed if I uh, didn't have Edge of Night. Yo, my Zed is not playing the game right now. He's, stu he's getting stun locked in the corner. Okay, wait, he's cooking, he's cooking. Oh, he's shredding. He's doing it! Alright, you probably can't go 9. But, I'm gonna hang on to this Gangplank 2. <laughs> For a very specific reason. This motherfucker has a hook. Woo! 
All right, last time my Zed didn't get to play the game because he got CC. This guy's playing three Vel causes. He's literally like, hey, make sure the Zed doesn't get to play the game ever. Wait, how did you hook me? What? Wait, how did my Vin get hooked there? What? Wait, how? Ref? Did he just like big brain me? Was this hook like right here? Oh, it was, I see. Oh, I see, so I need to like, I need to like do that and then I'll be fine. Oh, he hit Velikos three. No matter, it won't save you. Oh, we're gonna play a very interesting game. I mean, this guy doesn't have a hook, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> that Velcos 3 is weaker. Yeah, well, against my Z3, but he's probably just playing for second. Oh, wait, this vein is so satisfying. The Z is actually, like, kind of unsatisfying. He's getting stun luck so hard that I fear he's not actually gonna win the fight. Oh, just chase him down, boy. All right. Who we got left? Oh, does Belveth cook? Nope. Nunu too? Any spats on Carousel? No spat. If I got a spat, I could have built a duelist spat. It would have been sick. Would have gotten eight duelists. That's a shame. Sheesh! Eight duelists, baby, to finish off the game strong. All right, it's just a guess left or right. Check us out. I know he's gonna move back. He's gonna move back to the left side, right into me. I literally have to move. He's gonna try to last second fake me out. Move his MF back to the right, uh, left. Ooh, what's that? What's that behind your MF? It's me! Z3! Wait, so I was actually kind of close. Slice. Yeah, it's me, smiley face. Oh, nice. We actually you got the Z3. Reached 2,000 pogs today. Pog. Zed, Vayne, Tuber. No, I got bad news for you. The game's probably not going on the tube. I feel like I've played Vayne Z like 400 times. This one's cool because we got Z3, but like, I'm pretty sure in terms of how many Z Vayne tubers we have, there's like 12 already. I'm sorry. It's probably not going on the tube. You know which game is going on the tube though? The game where we Nico to Blitz 1 to you win the now game. Reached 200 D faces today. The game where I Nico to Blitz to sell the other Blitz and grab the item off of him. That was, uh,. That was that one's going on the tube. Can it go on the hub? Oh, I mean they did get fucked, but it's probably not going on the hub. I wonder if you get ad revenue from the hub. Dude, imagine that. Imagine like getting being like a porn star and getting ad revenue from Pornhub. And it's like you're just like sitting there with your with your like girlfriend, you're like, what can we do to get people to click on our video? And it's like, well, why don't we have sex during a cartwheel? Uh, or like, you know, you're just like brainstorming like ways to get people to click. Uh, why don't we become step siblings? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then and then dad comes. In. Uh, like they're just sitting there brainstorming it out, trying to figure out how to maximize the ad revenue. I can imagine that's like a very entertaining meeting to be in, or to be a part of. All right, I uh, I'm gonna stop here. I'm pretty mad right now. Like, that game was great. But in general, I'm quite mad today. I lost another 100 LP today. I feel like I, I did not really get to play the game. 
two games today i i just hit like this game i got the z3 a few games ago i got the the jacks riven three and the rest of the games i don't feel like i played the game so i'm sitting here quite mad uh, i'm gonna stop here i don't want to play wall tilted i'll just end the stream here uh, and see you guys later on i have to do some last minute pokemon prep so um tomorrow Tomorrow, I'm going to be on uh, like a Pokemon Championship. Oh my God, loud. Tomorrow, I'm going to be on like this uh, Pokemon Championship thing. It's kind of cool. I've never touched a Pokemon game until three days ago. I'm not very good at it. I'm, I would say I'm actually quite bad at it, but I, have, I know the basics. I'm gonna be playing against a bunch of YouTubers. Uh, Lily Peach is gonna be there, Saikun is gonna be there, and my favorite YouTuber I ever is going to be there. Jaden Animations. I am so excited to meet her. I am a huge fan of her videos. I've been a huge fan of her for like six years. And now I finally get to meet her in a tournament. I have no idea if she's good at Pokemon, but I'm very excited. I have to leave at 7 a.m. though, it's so early. I, I gotta sleep early. But yeah, so I'm gonna do some last minute Pokemon prep. Uh, I'm not gonna stream it. Honestly, I don't think it's very fun to watch because I'm just like helping hand explosion force Follow me, trick room, eruption, testis, testicularized fire, eruption, tau tau cleave, that guy. And then it's like, okay, um, grass is good into ground. Yes? Okay, yes. I'm gonna use the grass move. Can this Pokemon use protect? Uh, it's just like a lot of that. That's what it looks like when I'm playing. What game is it? I uh, it's gonna be the latest Pokemon on the Switch. I've never played it on the Switch though. I've only played it on the website, the Pokemon Showdown. But yeah, all right. I was pretty Smash Day. If you saw me be angry, I'm sorry you had to see that. For those of you that saw me be angry today, I'm going to give you this. This is a coupon. All right, you can redeem it whenever you want for one. All right, use it wisely. It expires in 30 seconds. All right, I'm going to send you guys over to K3 Soju. He just started his stream a bit ago. Uh, I'm going to go do my Pokemon practice, and I will see you guys at the Pokemon Championship. I uh, that... It's hosted by my friend from high school. I always joke about friends from high school. I mean, they're not jokes. I really am friends with all the people that perform in our living room. But uh, this guy who's hosting the tournament actually went to my high school, Wolf Glick. He was in my English class. So he was like, hey, Albert, it's me, Wolf. Come play in my tournament. Okay, yeah, I'm down. It's it's like small world. It reminds me like how Faker and Deft like met, went to the same high school. I got to go to the high school with, with the number one Pokemon YouTuber pretty sick but yeah uh so i'll be there tomorrow and then streams will resume on monday for more tft probably mario all right thanks for watching tonight i will see you guys uh later let's go ahead and raid k3 soju see you guys then the letter of the day for those of you that actively follow the letter of the day the letter of the day might be H, but it also might be I. We have a quantum letter of the day today. It's one of these two. Congratulations. This is the ultra rare quantum letter of the day. It happens only once every hundred years and you were alive to witness it. I'm just kidding, it's H. It's not a quantum letter of the day. Ha! You idiot, quantum letter of the days aren't real. You actually thought quantum letters of the day were real and that you got to see one. They're not real. It's just a regular letter of the day. When you get to Soju's stream, type. H, 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 H. Hi. Right.